This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Throw gang, we are joined by the tie-dye tycoon, the arc admiral, the Gore-Tex governor, call him Metallica because it's die, 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 my darling, yeah. <laughs> a mom of ink, the custom carpet Kaiser, Spanish Harlem raised him so you know he's built Croft Ford tough. <laughs> Yo. Yo, let me fight this idol real quick. Damn, idol's got hands. The king of color studies, the pharaoh fabric, the fabric, the graphics go off when the supreme go on, the gallery goomba, the art show shaman, the art rare but the work steady, the baron of bombing, the titan of tagging, must be clear and sell FAO Schwartz how he's getting rid of all these toys. Boys, <laughs> artist and designer Sean Crawford. Sean, how are you? Wow, real writer that was shit. Good, I like that. That was a great introduction. I yeah, like you yeah, throwing yeah. the toys, dude. We got to print that on a T-shirt. Yeah, bro. And then and then, and then tie dye. Let's go. Yeah, tie dye that shit. Sell it as merch. Let's Sean, go. thank you for being here, bro. Thank you for having me. You uh, you enjoyed your Peter Pan donut? That shit was awesome. <laughs> the Peter Pan I'm like a little worried that you might be a cop. You're like, yo, let me get a donut and a coffee. That's yeah. your writer. And I'm like, this sounds a little familiar. I'm trying to give you all raw sugar. Yeah, and you're, you're, yeah. you're also like, yo, can, <laughs> I, can <laughs> I smoke weed in your crib? I'm like, yo, if you're a cop, you got to tell me. Yeah, you right? Fuck, you fucked up. Entrapment, bro. If I just smoked weed and drank this coffee and ate that donut, I'd probably talk for like five hours. Oh, well, <laughs> we, only <laughs> have, we only have 17 gigs free on the memory yeah. card. Yeah. Well, I, did, I smoked a little weed on my way here. So oh, well, thank you, dude. You're a true professional, yeah, yeah, man. You, know. you can smoke weed on the street anywhere you want now. Yeah, it's great. I used to do that before. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. It didn't really matter, but um, yeah, it's great. Now it really now. doesn't like, matter. Yeah. You don't even have to think about now it. Now it don't awesome. matter. Don't matter. Other day, this is some funny shit. The other day, I was on Canal Street, right, and mm-hmm. uh, the cops were clearing out the bootleg guys, and in the mix of the bootleg guys, you know, they got the weed dudes, yeah, as well, right. So as they're clearing out the bootleg guys, a weed guy tries to sell me some weed in front of the police, <laughs> and I asked, I was like, oh, let me see what you got. Yeah, you know, like we were just Let me like, see the goods. and we were like talking about what he had, and it was just the funniest shit in the world. This cop was just like standing there, like nothing I can like, do. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Like, you're like, yeah. you're like it's he's like, new New York, baby. He's like literally trying to clear the block, and we're just standing there. Like, Giuliani rolling over in his fucking grave, dude. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, oh God, Giuliani, Giuliani. Yeah, Giuliani, yeah. dude. Shout out the fucking melting ghoul. Yeah. Um, uh, what is it? America's mayor? What's his nickname? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What a fucking loser. That guy is wild. He's he's <laughs> listening right now. Yeah, he's he's one of our 18 million listeners. Sean, I wonder if he's gonna flip on Trump. That'd be great. I mean, fingers crossed, dude. <laughs> Sean, the first thing you want to do is a little fit check where you're going to walk us in the audience at home through the totality. You're very spicy fit today. Okay. The choice for you, sir, is do you want to start top down or you want to go bottom up? I guess we could go bottom up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so All right. So cop. you're not a cop. Okay. Yeah, so the whole entrapment yeah, yeah. thing with smoking weed here. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. The not entrapment. You're not yeah. a cop. And let's, let's include all the, the footwear and the outerwear. Yeah. 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 Everything well. that you, okay. you wore in today. All right. So today I have on the gray jeweled, uh, Air, uh, Air Force One. Okay. Uh, what's the, those are mids? I are think, they mids? Right? The yeah, jewel, but so. the jewel swoosh. Yeah, the jewel swoosh. The, yeah, those shits are cool. I just got those. Uh, I also have on tie dye socks. That I you made. dyed those yourself? Yes. Yeah, actually. Oh, they got a little drip on the side too. Maybe the. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, with the yeah. little character. Yeah, yeah. Does that guy have a name? Yeah, yeah his name's Drip Rich, actually. <laughs> <laughs> drip Rich. His name's Drip Rich before anyone ever called clothes Drip. Like, uh, his name is Drip Rich. He's named after Kip Rich, the reggae. Okay. <laughs> the reggae artist. <laughs> and uh, he's Drip Rich. He's the, he's a living ink drop. You know what I mean? He's the mascot for my ink brand, Doing Dirty. Right. That I started in maybe uh, 2005, I think. Well, shout out Drip Rich. Drip Rich, yes. <laughs> and uh, what else do I have on? I have on a Carhartt Carpenter pants that I... Double knees. Double knee. Uh, look at that. Me and you. Look at it. We're fucking matching today. Yeah, but this man actually does work in his double knees. Uh, I mean, I'm working right now, take dude. Pretty what are you about, bro? <laughs> yeah, Doing well, the man, Lord's work. This man does Carhartt shit in his Carhartt <laughs> yeah. double knees. I Respect. Have, I have my, my gator belt. Ooh. Girl gave me. Yeah. Real gator. <laughs> yeah, it's actually gator. She got it in Africa. Yeah, I love this fucking belt. Gator belts and Patty better, Melts and Monte Carlos and Eldorados. And uh, what else? <laughs> I got this uh, hand painted tie dye t shirt. This is you. Yeah. This. Yeah. Like, I need to do more of these. Like, these. You these painted the time. characters and then dyed it, or do you dye and then paint? How does, what's the uh, process? Huh? I dye them and then paint the characters on. Gotcha. Yeah. And I painted the characters with ink as well. Nice. And then um, this is an unreleased Supreme Beanie. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that just kind of fell into your lap? <laughs> What's the, can I, what is the, what is the, uh, it's like a fucking, uh, it's like metal? Yeah, it's like an old fucking, uh, like an what do you call it? Uh, call, not call can I, uh, what was, yeah, yeah, the Davucci, like the Davucci old, leathers. Yeah, yeah, like Davucci leather. Fire. Call can I House of Davucci. Yeah, like. <laughs> Do you have a ton of unreleased Supreme? No. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, the one. One. that's the one. This, is the this one. might be it. Yeah. And I How have did this like, come into your possession? Like, were you just, were you just uh, like, sorry, my, we're not going to accept any of your designs this my, season, but here, have a beanie? No, is your my, consolation <laughs> prize? Get the nah, fuck out of here. No, nah, my good friend that I work with very closely over there, Nick Atkins, uh, gave that to me. He hooked like, it up. Yeah, he looked up. Yeah, Shout out, Nick. Good. I'd love an unreleased Supreme beanie as well. Yeah, Shout out, Nick. Give, give Sean some outerwear or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah. Let's talk about the big jacket, the puffer you wore. Yes. And that is the fi- a fire bar uh arcteryx jacket in navy blue i'm not sure what year that came out mm. but that's a, a older piece it's, it's a, a big boy yeah it's uh it's the Rebird. it came from new york rebird yes okay yeah. from yeah, john I- from johnson yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah john's son yeah. of john's yes. <laughs> molly they, yeah, they, yeah, they took justin up. shout out yes. shout, yeah, shout out the whole justin, fam dude at Arc- Arc- new, york. new york see you guys tonight yes, yes dominique yeah. actually Hook me up with that, which was really very Miss Showers. Very, very oh, nice. Dominique, yes. the VP of uh, mm-hmm. being the boss bitch at Arcteryx. Yes, I think yes, that's yes, her. Yes, yes. That's her official title yeah, on her yeah. business boss card. Don. Let's not say yeah. boss bitch. That's not nice. Um, <laughs> true. <laughs> and then uh, we got to know what are the panties. <laughs> <laughs> I have more Ralph Lauren okay. draws. Okay. Ralph Lauren draws and tank top. Is that your go-to? <laughs> yes. Ralph? Yeah. 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 I'm are you like Ralph. you wear it like and you throw it away like Fat Joe? Nah, I'm not that rich. <laughs> not yet. Not not yet. When, when it gets a hole in it, that's when it goes. Okay. In what <laughs> what uh, style though? Is it boxer briefs, boxers? Uh, boxer briefs. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then let's talk about the necklaces. You got some fucking beads on you? Yeah. The uh, one is coral, and the other one is some glass beads that I got from uh, Beads of Paradise. Oh, nice. Yeah. A little festive fucking yeah, neckwear. Yeah, I like I like jewelry. Like, do you have any anything else? No rings. Nah, no rings or anything like that. Like, I want to get into like making jewelry and stuff. It's just so expensive, right? To actually to make. make. Yeah, yeah. Like, eat, like making any of that shit is just super expensive. But you have ideas of stuff you'd want to do. Tons. You know, like I have lots of shit that I like to do. I have ideas for just so many different things, and uh, just honestly, it's just all about getting it done and sure. doing it. Is yeah. money, is the like the, the start of capital, is that always like the biggest barrier between like the idea and actually getting a prototype done? Yeah, but there's, there's always ways to get around that kind of shit. Like yeah, I mean, beg, like, borrow, steal? You, yeah. need a, you need a fucking benefactor. Yeah. Beg, borrow, steal. Uh, yeah, where's your Medici at? Oh, I think <laughs> one thing that I've been able to do, which is pretty cool, like with um, Instagram, just the internet in general, you know, like you can meet, you meet so many people, sure. like you can talk to so many different people. Like I'll Find someone that's whose work I really respect, and I'll try to like start some sort of conversation with them. You reach the, out. You don't wait yeah, for people yeah, to come to you. Either they reach out to me, or I'll reach out to them. And if I respect your work, like it's two way street. Yeah, I'll really try to figure out how we could work together. You know what I mean? And make something happen. Yo, if you any know, jewelers are listening, people. holler at the motherfucking yes. kid. Yeah, dude. Mark Savino, yeah. we see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My boy, uh, Mr. Barnacle. Like, uh, <laughs> Saw baby. Yeah, no, 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 Barnacle. 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 <laughs> Bitch, My we got motherfucking barnacles. He's actually a music producer. He makes uh, jewelry and like he makes a lot of cool stuff. And I've been like, Mr. Barnacle. Yes, Mr. Barnacle. Fire, dude. Mr. Uh, yeah, Singular. Yeah, Shout out that Mr. Barnacle. That was my Barnacle. father's name. Uh, yeah. And Barnacle. Sir yeah. Barnacle, I think, yeah. was his father's name. You're you <laughs> sipping on an oh, iced yeah. coffee, even though it's December 3rd. Yes. Are you an iced coffee year-round guy? Uh, not really, but we're inside. Yeah, we're yeah, in the we're inside. Yeah. It's and it's not, it's not even that cold out. It's either. like 55. You're yeah. the first guest in a long time because we'll ask people like what their riders and most people are like, no, nah, no, nah. like I'm just happy to be on the pod. You were like, yo, go to Peter Pan, blow a bag, <laughs> get it done. I'm trying to smoke weed in the crib. I mean, eat a donut. Donut. I mean, if you ask me if I want something, I'm like, sure. <laughs> if you were like, which is like, fair, which you're like, fair. I'm coming to Greenpoint. I need to taste all of the Greenpoint spoils. Yeah. Peter yes, Pan. yes. I couldn't remember the like, local fair. I wasn't yeah. sure if Peter Pan had good coffee or not, but I didn't know. Is it good? It's pretty good. It's decent. It's yeah. decent. It's good. Donuts it's are donuts are. I was debating, but I'd already eaten, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. pass. Nah, I used to, like, I what one. do you get? Chocolate frosted with sprinkles. Chocolate right? frosted with sprinkles. Yes, hell yeah, Classic. Yeah. specialty. Um, Classic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't had a pita pan donut in a long time. Uh, I used to be around here a lot more. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I used to work in a hydroponic shop <laughs> in this area over here, and uh, and then my like a friend of mine, my boy uh, Despot, like. Oh shit! Here, and I used to always be in oh, yeah, his fucking up, house. Up, yeah, it's a nice here. little fucking name drop right out the yeah. gate. Yeah, shout out yeah. fucking Despot, man. Yeah, we don't we don't talk that much anymore. We had a falling out. We oh, broke up. Damn. We broke up. Oh damn, <laughs> <Hunters and couple. laughs> bummer, bro. Yeah. We broke up, but I still love him. It's all good. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. say what up to him after this pod. Yeah, three, yeah. three and a half hours now. Yeah, we'll we'll pull up on his ass. Fuck that. Sean, drink check, fit check, complete. Yes, yes. Bingo. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this podcast. All right, let's. So this just happened. Just mm-hmm. this past week, I was texting you and you're like, yo, I'm running out the door. Just so happened that Off-White reached out to me yeah. to paint a little tribute to Virgil on the storefront down in Soho. What did that, 
like what did Virgil mean to you as like a young black creative, mm -hmm. as an artist, like and had what went through your head when they actually hit you up? First, first that that shit was really unexpected. Yeah, like, I, I never met Virgil. I don't know him. You know, um, you probably had mutual friends, though, I'm sure, right? Yeah, you know, um, I know a lot of people that have worked with him, like uh, in many different ways, like directly uh, and indirectly, and also, you know, like I had the show in Chicago with Easy, mm -hmm. and Easy's a close friend of his, and you know, right? But you know, I just I never had a chance to meet him or anything like that, and uh, but you know, like over the years, like I kind of like got to really see what was going on there. You know what I mean? Like, uh. I think like most people when they was first coming around, like people were talking shit, mm -hmm. you know, like, and maybe I might've talked a little shit. And then I got to really, and I started paying attention. I was like, yo, this guy is really in the mix. Like I could see he, like all the things that he's promoting or like pushing, you could see he really has a knowledge of them. He really gave a fuck. Yeah. You know, like that he was really studying and going deep into it. And then uh, just watching him like put his hand out, like, you know, put his hand out and grab other people. Sure. And them in. People that you've seen doing things for a very long time. You know what I mean? That are, that are good. Like people right. that are good at what they do, they've been doing it a long time, but he really helped. He platformed a lot of folks. Yeah, he helped push, yeah. helped push a lot of people. Did that inspire you to kind of, you're talking about how you will reach out to someone if you if you like their work. Did that inspire you or has that always no, been kind of what just, you've been doing? It's just kind of what I've been doing. Like, um, So similarly, you're always just like trying to work with good you're people. You're not a gatekeeper. No, nah, when I was like younger and shit, you know, like in graffiti, you know, like that's not how shit works. Right, right, I mean, right, like right. I've, I've written graffiti for a long time. We'll, we'll get into that too. I wrote graffiti for a real, real long time. And that's not a very inclusionary, uh, yeah. Thing. It's closed you know, off by it, design, it like it, like skateboarding. It, it is. Yeah. It isn't. You know what I mean? Like, cause when I was younger, you know, like older dudes were always very nice to me and shit. Like, but is that because you had skills though? Like, I ha yeah. You know what I mean? Not that I don't even. I don't like to even toot my horn like that. I think I have a little bit of talent, but like pe some people see that talent in me and have tried to help me out. You know what I mean? And like a lot of older writers were always like cool with me and like with like give me a little game and tell me like, oh, you know, you trying to do too much sure. right yeah. now. And like, try this, do that. Fall you back. know what I mean? Yeah. Fall back. Yeah. You know, like it's when I was a little- Slow kid, your roll, dog. Yeah, like first thing I ever tried to, I tried to do all the crazy shit out the bat. You know what I mean? And it was all look horrible, but I'd be <laughs> out in the street trying to do it, you know, and people would fuck with me behind that. But anyway, like, you know, like when I got into the internet and started getting into the whole graffiti internet thing in maybe like 2003, 2004, Damn. that was a very like trolly, nasty environment and i fell into all of that shit and would be stressing out and going crazy over it and all that and then uh like you yourself I, were talking shit or you were just reading everything that people are saying about you i would be or talking, shit. Would be talking shit to me i'd be talking that's shit another type of two-way street everyone talking shit to each other yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like you know like it's <laughs> shit a, for all yeah yeah just shit 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 shit, shit right <laughs> and then <laughs> and then like as i got a little shit older storm. and i learned like to like stop wasting my time doing yeah that, you right, know? right right i just got a little more into just like talking to people and trying to learn things from them. You know what I mean? Like as I got older, I got a little better with that. You know, like luckily I I changed my attitude and got into that. Started it's smoking. It's started smoking better weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not even. <laughs> like I've been smoking good weed for a long time. Bro. Well, not being <laughs> fucking flex alert. Not from the, not from the, not from the Canal Street bootleggers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You gotta see what everybody got. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're like, yo, let me get a little. Let me get us a little sampler, dude. Mm -hmm. It's right. like Costco. I gotta man. stop. Yeah. Have this exclusionary mindset when it comes to weed yeah, dealers. With everything, bro. You gotta yeah. just check it out. You know what I mean? Like some, like maybe you know there'll be people who. Y'all know, maybe you might not fuck with exactly what they do, but they might have something yeah, yeah. there. So you got to just look at it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what everything. So when Off-White reaches out, what's okay. like the first thing that goes through your head? Oh, man. All right. So first, I'd like to say, and, all right, peep it. Uh, the first thing that I ever did outside of like working a regular fucking job, right? The Just in this whole gig. Being an artist thing, for a living. Artist, a working artist. Yeah, yeah, like being a working artist, craftsman, whatever. Yeah. Um, is when the 10 release came out. Uh, I made some, I made a bunch of sneakers for that. It was like the extra credit yeah, thing yeah. that they did. You know what I mean? And I made a bunch of Air Force It was like ones. workshops they did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like they had, they had a thing where it was like a raffle where you could get, there was only 300 pairs of these sneakers and like whoever won this raffle could right. get them. And it was- You made people. 300 pairs. Yes. I made 300 pairs of sneakers for them. And, uh, and that was through just like Nike relationships, not like Virgil necessarily. Nah, uh, or he maybe put your name in the mix or- Nah, not even. Uh, what you call it? Angelo Bakke, I think, was doing some sort of work with that. And he reached out to my boy, Nick, to see if he knew anybody who could work on this. My boy, the Nick, Nick that gave you this being Yeah, here. yes. And uh, he reached out to me. He asked me like if I'd be able to do this, mm -hmm. do the job. I was like, I think I could do the job. And then I gave them a, a estimate. And Angelo actually like 
I want every everybody should know this. Angelo was like, yo, you're fucking up and you're wilding. That is not enough money. And he like doubled the the uh, the price and put another couple hundred on <laughs> zero top. on top. Yeah, a couple couple hundred on top and came back to me and was like, yo, this is what it is. Like, and that honestly, like Throw a couple zeros out. on there, yeah, dog. Help me out with everything. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Help Has, me like negotiate new stuff. You know what I mean? Has no that like helped you? Yeah, like in negotiating just up to even up to this point, you're yes. always like, like over over trying to value what you think you could actually get it for. Or it's knowing uh, your worth, right? It's yeah, like it helped me figure out my pricing. Like, and then um, my boy uh, Ben Solomon also like helps me. Shout out King Solomon, that. bro. Yeah, that's my boy. I love that dude. Shout that's ben. like my brother. He was at my house last night, actually. Hell Let's yeah, go. Man. He was by here too. We can go say what to him after this yeah. too. We nice. have a whole fucking <laughs> little reunion. Did you guys like yeah, you like the menorah? Was a little Hanukkah <laughs> joint? <laughs> No, Sometimes. it's just a social visit. Sometimes, Sometimes. <laughs> I keep my, you know, I keep that private. So you did the three hundred uh, pairs for the Nike workshop. Did the three hundred pairs for the Nike workshop. That got like my whole little career going. You know, like it showed people I could do work. So I got more work from that. Right, right. And right. Uh, you know, I've actually always wanted to kind of say thank you to Virgil for that, even though he didn't hire me to do that. Right. You know what I mean, like it's just like it's part, it's, of, his, it's it's part, part of his, of his ecosystem, yeah, yeah, his yeah. program. Yeah, I was able to jump on that wave. Sure. You know what I mean, like in my own small way. And I actually got, I was able to, Nike started giving me a little flow from that for a little while. You right, know what right. I mean? Like it was a whole thing. And FYI, we need to turn that tap back on. Yeah, Nike. yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah. Is listening. Flow, bro. <laughs> yeah. Been, I, I got to buy sneakers. It's awful. Yeah, <laughs> he's out here buying jewel sw- uh, swooshes jewel God, like a no, like a fucking peasant, bro. So many hoops to get those sneakers, you don't even understand. Yo. Oh my God! But it was all good. Yeah, <laughs> all good. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we just have to get so, that out there. That's fine. Right, so we're right, platforming so. you to complain about flow. That's fine. All right. So I'm sorry. Let's let's get back on topic. Um, mm, I got a DM uh, asking me like if I'd be. They said that somebody told me you had a gig for me. I was like, oh really? Like what is what's up? And then they. Ask me my phone number. I gave my phone number. Uh, then I got a, a fucking text from an Italian phone number asking me to do that. And uh, yeah, like it kind of like it was, sho- it was shock, shocking. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, like I don't know if these, I don't know who sees what I'm doing. You know, right. I think everybody sees it, and every I want everybody to see. Sure, it, you know, what I mean? <laughs> but you know, you, you know, hope, but you never know, right? Exactly. You know, like, and then um. When I spoke to these people on the phone, I was the production guy. I forgot his fucking name. I'm really sorry. But um, when I was talking to him, like he was, he, I told him my story about how, you know, like my right. first real gig was working on Virgil's thing. And I've always wanted to like, you know, thank him right. for that, you know? And then he told me about how, uh, you know, he started his production company because Virgil told him he should start a production oh, wow. company and then has hired him for all his stuff ever since. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, in every other story I've heard about this man has been basically the same thing. Right. You know what I mean? Giving like, people him, looks giving people looks like helping people out. You know what I mean? Like just in just being a generally really nice person. So did you feel like a lot of pressure yeah. was on this one job to paint the storefront of off white like, tribute, right? Literally like two days after yeah. this man had yes. passed. Hell yeah. yeah. What, you and, know, like I had a whole thing in my mind that I was going to go do there. And then, um, I was like, Oh, I'm gonna do like this piece or whatever. And then I was like, yo, like this wall is pretty small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then also I thought like the, the better way to like, tribute him as like a new york graffiti writer would be to do his throw up right and, and that was and that's do, what you did and that's what i did i did i did the verge throw up you know what i mean like i tried to right tried to do it as best as i could i hope it looks good i think it looks good it's sick <laughs> Thank you're you. happy with it yes i'm okay. happy with it yeah seems like a lot of people are also just like it's been resonating with people yeah yeah it's it's crazy like I, it's like i don't want to you know what i mean i'm i don't know how to all right it's really it's an honor that they asked me to do that sure it's amazing you know what i mean like i'm not trying to like really tie myself yeah, you know what I mean. Like, not like yeah, yeah. I, I really do admire that guy. Like that, right. like his whole thing is crazy. You know what I mean? Like on top of just being like a good design, like good designer, talented person, like fucking ill businessman. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like did that dude killed it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Genius in both like, arts and business. Crew. Yeah. Like, Angelo didn't have to tell crew. him to double his. Uh, yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, he knew like his that, that whole crew. They all fucking killed it. It's yeah. like, it's amazing. You know what I mean? It's amazing to watch. You know what I mean? I'm really. Do you think you now have more opportunities because like Virgil has, has done what he did? I don't know. Just just throughout the industry, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't want to say that. You know, like I think that there's there's always work. You know, what I mean, there's always work out here. There's a lot of stuff. I think that now things are just a little different because of uh like Instagram and stuff. Like you get to see a lot more yeah, of sure. things that are always going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like um, uh, you know, like I you know I told you guys I used to paint at Goyard, right? And um if I would have really like tried to turn that to a thing, you know what I mean? Like people would have like latched onto it. And right. Could have gotten popular off that. 
you know? but you <laughs> like, but you purposely like, so, didn't i mean we're gonna talk about that yeah, obviously but not even that i purposely didn't i just i don't know like i I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about it like that. I thought that that would help me in my career, and I wasn't right. thinking of it on like the influencer, right? Right. Which I how, guess is like how, Virgil changed people's mindsets too. Like obviously, I think like if you could go back, maybe you wouldn't do anything different. But like now, you know there is this other path, right? Yes. That you could have yeah, taken. Yeah. And I think he opened a lot of people's eyes to that kind of shit. True. How yeah. did you get connected with Goyard? Though? And like, what's like the tryout process there to be a fucking yeah. hand painter yeah. that, in the that, house? Yo, that was fucking insane. Just luck, honestly. Uh. My girl's best friend, Ryan, uh, he he's also a really good friend of mine. He uh, he's like a huge fan of Goyard and like a collector. He had a huge trunk and all types of shit and like bags and all this stuff. I'd, I'd seen Goyard before because, you know, like I'm I'm from Spanish Harlem, which is right off the Upper East Side. And mm-hmm. I've seen right. like, older women carrying those bags, but I had no idea what the fuck that was. It's right. like some older yeah. woman luxury shit. Yeah, some luxury know. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Right. And um, he really put me on to like what this brand is and like what it was and uh then he found out that they were opening a store in manhattan it was and he got a job there like he was able to get a job as a salesperson and he um told me that there was a job for a painter and was like yo you should go because everything is hand painted correct yes yeah everything's hand painted he um he told me i should apply and then he kind of hooked me up with the interview and the interview process was sick it, i've never had a job interview like this before like what was it yeah all right so basically when i um saw like when I when I started looking more into it, like when I heard about the job and started doing a little, I started doing a little uh, research on it sure. so I could have this your due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, um, and <laughs> I like, had, yo, I saw uh, you know old women walking around with this shit. Yeah, right? I saw yeah, some yeah, old you know, rich like, bitches with this yeah, shit. Yeah. What's good? <laughs> and like m- mostly the studying I was trying to do was like on the uh, the letter forms and because I've done a little sign painting, but I'm not like a professional at it. Right. You know what I mean? But I've tried it. You know, like I have a little bit of knowledge. you're no espo. <laughs> See? What happened? Graffiti. Yeah. <laughs> Graffiti knowledge. Damn, this guy's so fucking cool, dude. Espo's, you should have a podcast, Espo's man. That's my boy, too. <laughs> Shout out to him. But, um, you know, like, I've played around with, like, sign painting, but I wasn't, like, nice or anything, right? But I was like, all that right, was your I forte. this out. Yeah. So when I um I started doing my little research, I'm looking at the bags, and I was like, you know, there has to be some sort of process they're doing because all this stuff is fucking perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. how are they doing this? And uh, pretty Mathematical. Much, so when I had the interview, you know, I go to the store. The store hadn't been open yet. They were like still building it out. And I met with Remy Signols, who is the son of Mr. Signols, who's the owner of Goyard. Goddamn. They, they like they bought the company. I'm, I'm not, I don't remember what year exactly they bought the company. But uh, what, and what year is all this happening? Oh, of you, you interviewing and getting connected with Goyard, if you can remember. I haven't worked at Goyard in like <laughs> six years. Okay. And I was there for about a year and a half. So what's that? You guys got to do the Oh, so 20, 20, 2013, 2014. Yeah, somewhere yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, in that, yeah, in that realm, right? So, um, <clears throat> fucking, uh, yeah. So, so you met with the dude's son. I meet with Remy Signols, uh, and then the rest of the Signols brothers were there as well. And I'm in a room with a bunch of guys speaking French. Yeah. And what was funny, though, is like when I walked into the room, me and Remy had on like the exact same outfit. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what yeah, was yeah. it? What was it? Like, yeah, what- I, it was like a fucking shawl neck um, Beretta <laughs> sweater that I had. Like, it was 2013. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It sounds yeah. about right. I, I love the Beretta store. We'll get into that, too. Like, but, uh, <laughs> the Beretta store is sick. Like, it was a uh, fucking shawl neck Beretta sweater with a fucking but like blue button up underneath okay. and like, you know and you're black, on your interview and shit and yeah, a black scale hat shit, but, but, <laughs> 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 no, 2013 yeah dude yeah. No, 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 it, was, it was mishka dude it was calm the fuck down <laughs> yeah oh my god yo. <laughs> the calm the fuck down beanie dude and well, your yeah. and your huff weed socks so, yeah so, so i sit with him and uh basically you know like it's uh like i don't really want to i can't really like go into like the sure podcast, sure it's all proprietary I mean? like, right but yeah but did they have like, you doing like fucking doodles and arts and crafts and shit basically he painted a couple letters and then was like do exactly what i just did like monogram Damn. type yeah, of shit yeah, okay he did like a, a monogram was he like, nice with the fucking brush nasty Damn. right like so you know, he's like you he did one he and he's like raising it. he's like just do exactly what i just did right, right? it's like right. horse it's like horse but with yeah, hand yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. skate so, um <laughs> like he showed me how to like keep it out and all that shit and I did exactly what he did, and I, but I had been practicing mm. for about a week before. Like, because I was like, I figured that they have to be taping this out. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and then just from the uh, the pattern, like you can use the pattern to make sure that things are straight. As like a guide, kind of yeah, like, gra- like graph paper or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, it's it's like a grid. Yeah, yeah. It's like a grid on in the pattern. You know what I mean? So you could use that to make the letters perfect and the right size and all that. So 
whatever. I had been practicing that for like a week. You know what I mean? So when I did it, mine was actually cleaner than his. Ooh, Ooh. damn, son. <laughs> damn, no, son. it was fire because he was like, yo, like they, he, he turned around, talked to his brothers for like two minutes, looked at me, he's like, do you have a passport? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And he's like, all right, well, we'll contact you in a couple of days. I'm to fly you out to Francais. I, I left that interview. I felt really good about the interview. I actually, I called the manager of the store, uh, Olivier. Uh, I hit him up and it's like, thanked him for the interview, whatever. And then they hit me back and they were like, uh, they, they ran a criminal background check <laughs> on me. And How'd that I, go? Yeah, was that clean? It was pretty whack. No, it was not. <laughs> not clean. I had actually been arrested like maybe like a year before that. And that's so for writing off. or? Yeah, for graffiti. Right. And then uh, he, and he asked me, I was like, yeah, like, it's I'm I, an artist. bro. Yeah, that was my whole thing. You know, yeah. like, I don't hide my graffiti past. Like, sure. I think graffiti is cool. Like, I think we it's like all, a strength, like, if anything, a feather yeah. in your cap. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, I'm a self-taught artist. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. So, like, I learn everything I know from the street. The city like, is my canvas. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the world is my. Canvas. Yeah. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> bars, bars. <laughs> How many times have you been arrested for graffiti? <sighs> Too many. <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember. Like double, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't even remember. Like so many times. When I was a teenager, I used to get arrested all the time. It was very whack. Right. Yeah. Like that in like the 90s. Like, you know. They... Did you have any um, <laughs> like near death close calls? Like trying to do something a little too crazy? From graffiti? Yeah. Not directly writing graffiti, but like as a result of. Got it. <laughs> right. Being in that world. <laughs> like with, dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. Dealing with, with other crews and everything. Yeah. But never like, uh, never like falling off, like falling off a high place or <laughs> nah, nah, climbing a bridge nah, or anything. I don't, I'm not into climbing like that. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, uh, when you I was afraid of heights, not that I'm afraid of heights. I just don't, I don't think graffiti is worth dying for. Right, right. It's not you worth it. I mean? yeah, and yeah, then like, yeah. honestly, <laughs> on some real shit too, like for you climbing up on some shit, like I get the same, you get the same props doing that shit on the ground. It's right, the same right, right. shit. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, and then like, I understand it. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. I get it, you know, but I'm not into all That's that. That's not for you. Yeah, fuck all that. So they did, so, they so did after, the, the, after the criminal background check. Yeah, after the background check, yeah, which after you- the background check, you know, they are- Which you, begrud- failed. Which you, which you yeah, begrudgingly yeah, yeah. They, failed. He asked me about an arrest. I told him what it was. I was like, yeah, writing graffiti. You know, like yeah. it is what it is. You know, like, I was like, yeah, I got community service, you know? And then uh, they they fucking hired me. Uh, they flew me out to France. I went to um, Carcassonne for eleven days, and I trained out there. It's like I, a boot camp. Yo, this shit was fire, man! Like that was the illest experience. Was like they wake up at five and you just like job. do art for fourteen hours? Like how does what? pretty much? Yeah, like um, you just have I, fantastic I out, food. Flew out to Paris. Um, I didn't get to spend any time in Paris. I got in, right in a cab and went to right. Carcassonne. It was like a three hour drive to the south, south of France, and um, I was in a hotel. Right outside the fucking castle, the shit was insane. Like the uh, the hotel I was in, I was the only person in it. What? Was like, yeah, because it was like the, like the off shining. season. Right, right, yeah, right. It was wild. Yeah, it's the off season and no one's there because it's mad fucking cold. And uh, you know, I was bouncing around from room to room just because I wanted to see the whole <laughs> yeah. hotel. Like you know what I mean? And there was only one person working the hotel, and like she was mad cool. Like she actually gave me some fucking weed. She wouldn't even let me buy it. It was wow. amazing. Yeah, it was sick. And like then I realized too, like when I was there, you know, like uh, Goyard kind of like owns this town. Right, right. right. It's right? Their so shit. like yeah, everybody yeah. was just being as nice to me as right. possible because it was, you're a made man. Like you reflect you're, you're on an employee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really dope. It was fucking sick. sick. And uh, I would train every day at Jed Yard. In a um a little workshop that was over a carriage house that had their fucking hunting dogs and shit. And shit was sick. Right, like, right. It was just a really insane It's the real experience. deal. Yeah, like right over the like vineyard, because there's a vineyard attached to, to Jed Yard. And it's crazy. So that's the, the whole time, the whole time we're just yeah. like ha- like having an oh shit moment. You're like, I never thought that graffiti would bring me to yeah, the fucking south of France and pretty staying much. in a castle. Pretty much every day. Every day, I, I couldn't believe that shit. It was like a fucking fairy tale, right? Like, right. And it, it was, <laughs> and it was nuts. Like it was Cinderella really story, like a, dude. It was really like a fairy tale in the hotel. The hotel had a fucking dog, Spanish Harlem Cinderella, and a cat that would like come hang out with me. I was like, literally, I was the only person in this place. And the dog, <laughs> and the cat would just come fuck with me. The cat it's literally a Disney movie, dude. The window, it was wild. Like it, it was a wild experience. You're talking to the furniture, thinking it's talking back. Yeah, yeah. The weed is just laced with pieces. The whole thing. The whole thing. I was like taking ill baths every night. <laughs> <laughs> had like big ass tubs and shit. I couldn't, go to, couldn't fall asleep and like had to go to work. You know, it was it was crazy, man. It was really dope. And uh, the woman I trained under her name was Sophie. I cannot pronounce her last name <laughs> ever. Like, but Sophie was really dope. And uh, I trained under Sophie and Remy. And um, it was a kid named uh, Brees that he was the only one who Brees. spoke. He was the only one Brees. who spoke English. <laughs> <laughs> so he would like he's like the translator, he would translate whatever. To me all day, and it was crazy. Like even just training under people who don't speak English right. as well. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, what the fuck? But yeah. it was just all like, just repeat what you see. Just right. do what you see here. You know what I mean? And that also- Boot camp. 
Yeah, you know, and um, rote learning. They're like turning you into a monogramming machine. Yes, and fucking RoboCop, Goyard, Goyard, Goyard cop. cop. Yeah. <laughs> and before Goyard, I credit them for actually giving me any real art training. Okay. I, mean, like, I never went to art school. I went to, when I was in high school, I was in the art house of Washington Irving. You know what I mean? And I had like a couple art classes, but I never really went to school. And uh, I didn't go to college and I never took any art classes. Like everything I've done, like I said, I kind of like taught myself yeah. or like just learned how to use things that people were using to write graffiti right. in a different aspect. So in the in know? the Sean Crawford Zuvi, <laughs> sounds yes. like the time at Goyard is like the 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 montage where you're like training to become a real yeah. fucking It was a transformative you know, like, moment in your life, clearly. Yeah. It taught me a whole lot. You know, like uh the training taught me patience. Mm. Like painting a Goyard bag takes three days. What the fuck? Yeah. Like one bag takes three days. Like you are like prepping the bag and then like when it's two colors, you know, you lay down one color first, and then you lay down the second color the next day. And then uh, the third day is any touch-ups that you would need to do. Like, you know, like if it's like leaking out or whatever. Right. Like, can you, like, Which never happened to you. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> passes all the fucking time. Yeah, I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So from, from writing graffiti out of Spanish Harlem, you ended mm -hmm. up in the south of France. Yeah. I'm talking about hitting people's radars, another kind of <laughs> like, oh shit moment. Uh, I think that you, a lot of people started to like know your name when you started on this color studies program with Arteryx. Okay. And just like the connection of this elite outdoors brand from Vancouver, Canada, and a graffiti artist from the Upper East Side, Spanish Harlem, like, why do you think that that connection has just made so much sense? Yeah. Uh, as I, uh, I don't know. Um, basically, you know, there's, there's graffiti writers in all aspect of the art community. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they may not be the guys who are out, like, cutting people's faces <laughs> and like fighting in the street all day right, right? but it's like it, graffiti has a lot of different elements you know what i mean like there's the guys who are out doing that crazy shit there's dudes who are out writing every day not doing that crazy shit you know what i mean there's the guys who don't ever go out and write but they like practice a lot right like in books and they draw a lot and i was i was one of those guys like i practice a lot you know what i mean i would just draw a lot in my house and like that's always been my thing i used to, i'd go outside too but i was in between you know like I, when i really started going outside as a little kid and I was like having my experiences with crime, you know, like writing graffiti and stealing. That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just boosting, yeah. Like, yeah, like writing graffiti and stealing and shit. Like, you know, at first, you know, you start like boosting this steel paint and markers right. and shit. And then like when the tools I started, of the trade. Yeah. And then when I started to like get clothes, like when I met like the RFC dudes and they put me on and like I started like stealing clothes, like I was like, I'm not stealing paint. Right. You know what I mean? And then like when I, and then it transferred from like stealing clothes to like kind of stealing things to sell, you know what I mean? It went, I was like, all right, I'm not going to like, waste my time like just stealing clothes when I can go out and get things to get money and then right. like buy what I want or like even still kind of finesse and like mm -hmm. switch a tag or some shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean things you know, just, yeah. like, you know, just weighing things out and trying to how do you guys first connect how do you and Arcteryx like first link yeah. up uh okay so first you know uh my my first things of doing any altering Gore-Tex in any way was I was hand painting uh, the you know like the the Gore-Tex army jackets. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, my initial idea is I wanted to make a uh, like a futuristic version of a souvenir jacket. Okay. You know, like I love those old bomber jackets sure. with the paintings on the back, and I've always wanted one of those jackets, and like just never got one. You know, like, right. just, like and um, I was like, how can I do something like that? I was gonna buy the leather jacket and paint it, and then I was like, actually, you know what? It would be cool if I did this on the Gore-Tex jacket because that's like actually my right. generation sure yeah. more in your wheelhouse mean? like what you would actually wear yeah like you know what i mean and then i painted a couple of those and uh with avi from better gift shop yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What i mean like did were, was he selling them through better gift shop or is it just like nah like i painted one first just for myself and like he saw it a few a few people saw it and they were really into it and uh he told me he had a thing coming up with dover street market yeah and if i would be interested in like putting the jackets in that presentation excuse me and uh, Avi basically, like, he bought a few of the army jackets and he had included a couple Arcteryx pieces. Before that, I what I did, I never had an Arcteryx piece. You know okay. I mean? Like, I've known about the brand. You were, you said the, North Face growing up, right? We yeah, were I was, a, off I was aware of the brand, but like, I was always more of a North Face guy. You know, all like, of New York was. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I grew up. That's like the that. writer's uniform was North Face, right? Yeah, I grew up on that brand. Like, at, as a kid, you know, like, when I was a teenager, you know, I'm from Harlem and shit. And like, the. Harlem dudes, the, the thing that you get when you're getting any kind of money is you get a leather jacket. You know what I mean? You get like a thousand dollar leather jacket. And like, I like those jackets, but I don't love those jackets. You know, like, and I've 
always kind of tried to like be a little different than everybody on my yeah. block. Right. And I got put on to like the Gore-Tex stuff. And I was just like amazed by the material. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that, that, that material is like a whole science thing. You know what right. I mean? Like, and then I got one. Um, I think I like, well, it, yeah, well, I stole my first North Face. What was your North Face? <laughs> what was your North Face of choice? Was it like the puffer? Was yeah, it like bubble? The, the steep tech? I like everything. Uh, I don't, I never really liked the steep tech. I was more into the, um, Jesus Christ, I can't remember like the models right now. Like I get scattered brains with this type of stuff. Um, well, whatever you're trying to steal, whatever you could steal. Nah, I, I was into North Face Rage. That shit was fire, right? But um, that I think was when, that was one of uh, North Face's first experiments of not using Gore-Tex. It was a different material called Ultrex which was a bootleg Gore-Tex. Okay. Like it was the same thing, right? But it was bootleg and it was made much cheaper because like all the people I knew who had Rage pieces, all of them. And then Spider used to use the Ultrex as well. And like all those shits kind of fell apart. Right. After Spider? Yeah. Yeah, Spider was ill. And that shit, that shit was That's trash, crazy that though. you don't see that like popping up, like having a resurgence, right? It's, I, it's still it's a like brand. A, but it's such a ski brand to me, right? Yeah, like it, it, I've been waiting years for Heli Hansen to come back. And it hasn't yet. I feel Hell like it's really cool. Yeah, shit. I feel like, like that shit. I think you it. might be bugging. Him. <laughs> I don't think, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's like popped off or yeah, like had its, its moment back. It's yeah. Just, yeah, there's yeah. a Helly Hansen store in Japan, mm -hmm. kind of like North Face Purple Label, which is like Japan only. Yeah. Helly Hansen Japan only is makes like very fire stuff. Okay, but um, it's Japan only, so yeah. it's impossible to get your hands on it. Yeah. But okay, so so Avi included some arc in this better gift shop dsm yes and, and you were like exposed to it yeah man he exposed me to exposed me to it. we had we had painted a few i painted a few bags and stuff and that all of that stuff did really well at dover street and that actually helped get things rolling as well like that that really helped it's another guy who platformed you avi and like put you on and kind of opened up some doors yes yeah. was, so avi our terex clearly saw this were they immediately like receptive and like thought yeah. it was cool over that like, yo stop Fucking yeah, stop ruining our guy, shit, like, dog. Yeah, um, what's funny is um the creative director over there, Cooper. Who? So, like, we shout like, out Coopy. Yeah, like we were like formerly of two hundred IG followers, now several thousand. <laughs> yeah. Thanks by the way, Cooper, Cooper you're pump. fucking welcome, bro. Nah. <laughs> Yo, nah. Me and Cooper have been like following each other on Instagram. He's got for great taste. Long. Like he he knows what's good. No, we have been following each other for a mad long time, and we have a lot of mutual friends. Like, was he? He was a skater, but he, he was a skater. Feet. He's in the mix. Like yeah, he knows yeah. a lot of writers that I know. Like uh, he, he was in New York for a long time. He is attached to like the friend group of my boy Acne that passed away. My boy Josh Acne, uh, rest in peace. Like and he also introduced me to a, a million fucking people that I work with now. And like I know that's how I know Nick Atkins. Like I know him through through Josh. Each one teach one, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So Cooper saw this and was like, "Yo, this is fire," and he is. Bring that mindset to Arc, where I had no other idea brands, other what brands Cooper like did for a very, very long time. I didn't know. I don't he worked think. At I don't, think, I don't think he even knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't even yeah. know he worked at Arcteryx. Well, he's no like humble about that. You know, yeah. before you didn't even know that he was. No, okay, yeah. so he was like a before friend he was the CD, or he was C, like the creative director. Then. I don't. I don't even fucking know. Anyway. Like I, you know, like honest, this is the thing that I do too. You know, like I meet a lot of people and they have important jobs and they're but. If if you're cool and we just gel, and you know I can that's talk to you, that's it. Shit it doesn't do, matter. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah like, for sure. And if you have a terrible yeah. job like us, where we're fucking podcasting, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, but you still vibe, then like we're gonna be friends too. Yes, <laughs> I, think, I think that's where a lot of like young people now fuck up. Where the first thing they want to know is like, what do you do? And like, how many by design, you have? what can you do for me? Yeah, that, and that's yeah, the that's wrong boring. way to meet people. That's just whack. But yeah. You know what's really funny too is like, um, I had like a, a really like kind of wild like fucking drug phase where i was just out every night and like wilding out and just partying all what's your drug of choice uh molly molly yeah. and angel dust hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> together or separate or both both yeah. <laughs> jeez <laughs> but, yo, but yeah like i used to, yo, i used to just like be out every night getting fucked up and i would and that's about cooper he was also a fucking <laughs> e-head like no i don't know cooper fucking from, like, the, dust, the dust brothers I just, I bro I know Cooper just like off the internet, you know, like from Instagram. To be clear, Cooper, not a drug addict. Yeah, I, yeah. that we know. Of. Not yeah. And and if so, that's totally fine. Bro. <laughs> Shout out Coopy. It's all love, bro. Anyhow. But you were you were doing dust. Yeah, Shout out Gil busy. Dog. I used to get busy. Get I used to have busy. a lot of fun. And uh, you know, ASAP kills. Like, uh, people, we'd be partying man hard, you know what I mean? And then like years later, when I got into this mix of just like 
you know, like doing gigs and working for different companies and shit like that. Like all these people that I met in these parties all have jobs. In right. This yeah. Industry. And I'm like, and you have like, a fucking job. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, and then like, we just, you know, like we're all, yeah, you could have become a, a professional. If you're a lesser of lesser character, you could become a professional blackmailer. Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got that dirt. I got well, dirt you're on you, dog. You're not too even, good. Not even that I have like secrets on people, but like, I, I just know people from clubs and parties right. and shit, sure. like from the after hours. Come and on. Shit like yeah. that. And you're like, yo, you're a real person. That's crazy. Yeah. You're not, you're not a fucking demon. <laughs> like yo, you're alive, <laughs> and you have a job. Shit, like, you know, like I'm impressed. You, got, you still got most of your teeth. Congrats. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah man, All right, like, so um, Cooper hits you up, and he's yeah. like, "Yo, I, I fuck with <laughs> Get this. back on track here. No, he uh, yeah, he hit me up originally. Or he's like, doing, "Yo, C and D, <laughs> motherfucker." He had hit me up to do some uh, t-shirt designs at first, right? And uh, for Arc, yes. And when I was talking to him about doing the t-shirt designs, like I just was like, "Yo, like I love." Arcteryx, but the shit is like mad white bread. Like, what's up? Like, mm-hmm. I would like to do more than just make t-shirts, right? Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm down to do the t-shirts, but like, how about I? I had pictures doing like a little pop up at like Procell and shit. I was mm-hmm. like, yo, like, let's do a thing at Procell. We could fill the whole fucking store with jackets because it's small, and, right? Like, right. Look really fucking crazy. And then like he he was into it, and we were talking about it, going back and forth. And then uh, the pandemic hit, mm-hmm. right? And then uh, he was like, yo, you know, like everything's on hold. And I was like, yo, I already knew that. You need to. Hit yeah. me up and tell me that shit. I also live you on know? Earth, bro. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, then he like looked out. He gave me like a crazy like discount code, and I bought a bunch of shit. What was it? <laughs> Is it still active? No. Yeah, oh, it's nah, a one time only. It, it only? had a time limit. It had a time limit. And Coop, had, like, you gotta um, hit, hit this man with a lifetime. Yeah, come lit. on, man. No, it was lit. I bought Sean a bunch Crawford of shit. forty at checkout, <laughs> and I was like hanging out in uh in New Hampshire for a few months, like in the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah, and I was wearing all that stuff and just like having fun with it or whatever. And um, he flowed me a bunch of stuff too. And then um, he came back to me and was like, hey, you know, like we were talking about uh, like in the office, we've been talking about the thing that you were proposing and that we've expanded on it and we're going to make it a whole artist series. And we would like you, you know, like to represent New York. Right. And I had a idea what I wanted to do. And then he told me everybody else who was going to be involved. Right. So since I knew Cheeto Mm -hmm. was going to be involved. Right. right? I fuck with Cheeto. I like him a lot. Like I know him through Nick as well. Mad cool kid. I really like that dude. Um, He. So I knew he was going to be painting the jackets, right? So I was like, I'm not going to do that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do the exact same thing. And then I knew Avi Like, he's, like, tagging, tagging, like, straight up tagging jackets. Yes. And I knew that Avi was going to, um, what he was going to do, you know what I mean? Because I spoke to him. We're, he was doing the embroidered shit with the the homies in Japan. With AOI. I with AOI yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, like, so he let me know what he was working on. So I was like, I had an idea that was similar. Because, mm. you know, like, I work with embroidery as well, right? So I was like, damn, I can't do that. He scooped you. Yeah. Scoop me. Right. And then uh, <laughs> so then, like, you know, like I kind of got an idea of what everybody was doing. Like, so then I was like, damn, like, what can I do to differentiate, to differentiate, you know, like and, you know, I really love like like the dye thing comes from me making ink. OK, well, you know, like uh, which has been something you have been doing since when? Like, honestly, like since I really first started writing with you. Like, yeah. So this like 12. So this was really, truly rooted in your like. Yes. Early like, graffiti yeah, like this. Yeah, in in essence, it comes from that. You know what I mean? Like, it's meant to be. Yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and also, you know, like, well, um, it's funny. Like, I've always I've been trying to do tie dye for maybe nine years, eight nine years. You know what I mean? Like, and you've I'm, been in the lab just like trying to perfect it, yeah, like trying to get it right. You know, like because uh, you know you see sh- when you go like to you see like the ill cool like Grateful Dead shirts and shit, and they yeah. like have like all this intricate shit going on. Where I'm like trying to figure out how do you do that? Right. You know what I mean, like in uh. And then I was using like bullshit dyes for a long time. So I wasn't really getting what I wanted out of it. And then I found what I needed. You know what I mean? Like, and I just started like rolling from there. And uh, there's a company uh, downtown Manhattan called Aljo. They're on 40, oh God, was it 49 Walker Street? Uh, yo, this place is sick. Like they have dye for everything. Like for anything that you could ever think of. Like That's what they, they specialize yeah, in. Yeah, it's a whole dye spot. It's a very old school space. It's uh, two really like two older people that run it. Uh, Herb and his wife, uh, Robin. And they're super cool. They'll like talk. If you spend $20 in there, they'll talk to you for two hours about, <laughs> about dying. You know Just what I mean? Like, so, yeah. <laughs> and like they're re- and actually I really like these people. Like in the time that I've been going there, they won't sell me anything they don't think I can use. Okay. You know what I mean? Which is that's dope. real customer yeah, service, yeah, bro. That's the, that's they're not the, trying to fleece you or whatever. Not at all. You know what I mean? Like I'll go in there and I'll ask a question. They're like, oh, you're not ready for that yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's yeah, a, it's, that's it's above fucking, your pay grade, son. Fucking hilarious. That's yeah, Charizard like, only. Yeah. Like basically, I went in there, I started getting like cotton dyes, and then I started showing them some of the stuff that I was doing. And they were like, oh, that's really good. And they was like, oh, you should try this. Mm. You should try that. 
And then, um, and you know, like it's just been elevating. And then, uh, basically, the first thing I did was I tie dyed those rugs mm-hmm. that I had in the Panthers. So yeah, those are fire. Thank you. In the same process, let me get one. Uh, <laughs> you buy one. Uh, <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me acquire one through a, tra- a monetary transaction. You can talk behind the scenes about that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> basically, you know, I came up with a process to do that because um, before I did that, you know, like I, I met uh, the guy, my boy Marco from Noreen Seabrook, right? Uh, I was introduced to him by Baron Von Fancy. Mm. Uh, Gordon, who is my boy. I love Gordon. Uh, Gordon, basically, it, it's fucking insane like uh gordon and barry bob you guys know barry bob yeah mm-hmm. oh my legend God. love those dudes right and it's really funny like they've done a lot of stuff with die and a lot of different experiments and stuff and everything that i've yo they'll be working on some shit i don't know what the fuck they're doing and i have like these ideas in my brain like oh watch you try to do this and then i'll see them do the exact thing mm. that i'm thinking about you know what i mean like and it always fucking happens and they're always doing it at a really high level and making really fire shit and it's really cool right but I love those guys, and they always share information with me, too, if I ask them. Right, right, right. And uh, I was trying to make rugs, and I was going to make, like, the rugs that you would get, that you would see, like, in the grocery store. You know, like, those rubber ones and, like, shit like that. And I was looking at that, and that stuff is a lot more expensive than you would think. Okay. And then, like, when I was looking, in the companies I was looking at, you know, like, I was trying to source it out. And the places I was looking at didn't even look that good. And then then I saw Gordon make, like, some really cool fucking rugs. But, uh, you know, Gordon is very wealthy. And... uh, (laughs) I was very scared to even talk to these people who make the fucking rugs, right? Right, right, right? But I was doing a job, uh, doing a Beats gig. I was painting a window uh, at ProCell for Beats. Uh, this dude, Marco, walked by, took a photo of me. Okay. <laughs> painting the window. I saw on Instagram that he posted me taking I was like, dude, that's me. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, shit. And, me. I, and I actually went to his office and I went and spoke to him and we hit it off. And uh, I met his dad and I met his mom and they're great fucking people. And they really look out for me and they made me a rug. And then uh, first, though, Marco had a big white wool rug that he got ink on it. Okay. Uh, oh, like he like, like was fucked up. Yeah, he fucked it up. Right. And it was like, yo, like, how can we save this rug? Yeah, and I was like, shit. more ink. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, yo, let's do like, let's do Lean into the on skid, it. dude. So my first idea, I was going to try to paint it like with uh with acrylic paint, like paint the rug. Yeah. Get like acrylic spray paint and paint something on it. Right. And I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, why don't we try to tie dye this rug? Right. So we did it on the roof of his old office on like 27th Street. Uh, it came out really cool, but it didn't give me the exact color mm. that I wanted. And then we then we sold that fucking rug. <laughs> and, uh, and we sold it for a really good price. Right? You know what I mean, um, this, this uh, the football player, Ronnie Stanley, bought it. Oh, shit. Actually, yeah, it's in his crib. Right. Like, yeah, who's mad cool, too. Love that dude. Right. So um, from there, I was trying to, like, perfect. You know, yeah. Perfect the, the process. Shit. That was just V1. Yes. And then I. Uh, it's luckily sold. Like I've been, I've been very lucky in that too. You know, like I'll try new things, and the second or third one will end up somewhere really cool. You but, know, like, but there's always there, but there's always a process in developing the technique. Yeah, when like it's like the the material, the the ink, yes. the dye, and the actual process of whether it's Gore Tex, whether it's a fucking rug. Yes, you always like that's the the time and and skill that you put into it. So yeah. how do you go from perfecting the rug dyeing to then tie dyeing fucking Arcteryx jackets? It's kind of the same principle. Yeah. Like it's like it, it works the same way without like some rich guy got ink on his fucking <laughs> yeah, on his arc. Like, oh, I was like, gonna throw this out. Save this dead uh, bird. <laughs> I, have, I have paint on everything that I own. You know what I mean? Like it, it's yeah. it's just part of it. It's I I don't give a fuck. Like right. you know what I mean? Like I like to. You're doing car hard shit. Like yeah, you I like, said, I like to like live in expensive stuff. You know right. what I mean? Like you, it should get fucked up if if it's yours. You know what I mean? Like yeah, and if you yours. wear it, if it's you're not precious, exactly. It's built Crawford tough. Yeah, indeed. Right. Nah, but um. The the same process that I use for the rugs, I use for the jackets, and I tried it, and it fucking worked. You know what I mean? Like I I've been very very lucky. Like I I try things out. Like I'll get these ideas, you know. Like I'll try to work them out in my brain. I don't really take too many notes, you know. But then I'll try it out, and either it works or it doesn't. And about ninety five percent of all the things I've been trying. How many arc working. jackets were did you like fuck up to get to what none. ultimate? Really? No, none, none of them got fucked up. Damn. Like. No, actually, you know what? There was a, uh, all right. There was <laughs> one run that I did. No, like I tried to like tie them up and I tied it a little too tight. Okay. And, you know, and uh, it just, the dye just didn't go where I wanted it sure. to go. It was only in like one section of the yeah. jacket and the rest of it was just blank. It was like, but it worked. It's right to the jacket. You know what I mean? And then from there, I was like, okay, I could do it like this. 
So what have you done with Arcteryx? Well, You've done like two workshops, two or three workshops. I, like I did the um, there was the artist series, and I was the New York representative. Okay, that was last year, and then this year I just, yeah. What's I, next? Well, I'm trying. You know, what I mean, like you know, fingers <laughs> crossed. You know, like, cool. You know, everybody. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Approve, <laughs> approve, approve. Uh, <laughs> green light, green light, green light. Go. Yeah, like right now, I'm trying to um take the color studies series on the road and go oh, to, shit. go to all the like important Texas um, Cooper right now. Oh, good. Go to <laughs> tell, all the like the important arteric cities. Like go right. to London. Go to Vancouver. Go to Toronto. Go to L.A., go to uh, San Francisco. You know, I want to go. You want to take the show on the road. Yes. I want to go everywhere where people really love our terrace. Sure. You know what I mean, like, I want to go to all those places. Make yeah. sure. This is an Angel Bakke moment. Make sure you put first class travel. Yeah, yeah, we all. Let's get this man in business class, dog. You heard. Clap head. Clap head. <laughs> so that's your plan moving forward. That would be the yes. dream. Yeah. How like, the Arcteryx um, relationship could like you know, and, go global. Yeah. And then the way I want to expand on it is like not just color studies. I want to do crafting stuff. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Where. um, Yeah. What would that look like? Basically, I would like to do like three different crafting classes centered around Arcteryx product. And stuff is like that, that like patchwork kind of stuff I'd or like would that be? A, I'd like to do something involving patchwork. Okay. I'd like to do a printing class and then we could also do the dye again. Sick. You know what I mean? Because that's fun. You know what I mean? Like, And I have a few ideas. I don't want to Arcteryx, if you're listening. Well, but it'll work. Green light it'll this work, shit. It'll be very when we, sick. When we saw you at, Re, uh, at the Rebird place uh, most recently um, that just opened, yeah. you were kind of like, not, I don't want to say cagey, but like you have a proprietary dyeing technique and you don't want to like give the sauce away for free. Yeah. How much are you like willing to like put the fucking process out there when you would, when, if you would do these workshops? Uh, like, well, I can show you how to print. I can show you how to dye. You know what I mean? Like you just got to figure out. <laughs> Everything else. Everything, you know I mean? everything yeah. else. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'll give you, like, the starters. You right, know? right, right. Like, like I'll I have no problem, like, shit. You'll lead a horse like to water. That. Right, right, yeah, right. You know, like, um, you can't make him tie up. Basically, what I'm doing is not unheard of or undone, right. but I came up with my own way of doing mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't want to, like, and it looks spill the best. that. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, in addition to Arcteryx, you also contribute a lot of design work and art to Supreme. Supreme. Yes. Yeah, baby. So, can you just walk us as much as you can? Like, how does it work with like getting direction from them, submitting your designs, yeah. like mm-hmm. from from fucking you know, yeah. that's the bolts. Like as how, a how do, as a freelance as contributing a, yeah, artist, as a, as a contributor. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, uh, okay, so they'll ask me for different things all the time. Like I work very closely with my boy Nick, and uh, sometimes they'll they'll be like, "All right, we're working on coats. What do you got for coats?" Hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, like what, and it's kind of just like an open ended thought yeah, like, starter, you, and it's like, like, what are your ideas for coats? Send us some coats. Right. You know what I mean, like, send, yeah, talk to us about coats. That's Draw it. They're coat. not like there's any, there's no yeah. like, hey, we're looking at you know we're looking at reference pieces from like 1992, nothing like that. Sometimes, it's really open ended. Sometimes okay. it's like that. Yeah. Sometimes it's really open ended, but that, then I get direction because like I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and please like, please and uh, go really on. To work with because he works very fucking hard and he makes no excuses. And this, right. dude, this dude has an art career. He has his career designing there, and he just helps a lot of people do a lot of shit. He's an amazing person that I learned a lot from. You when they mean? select like, yeah. something yours that they do want to include, like, is it like a yes moment? And then when they yes. shut you down, <laughs> how do you handle that re- rejection? Uh, honestly, you know what? The shutdown, yo, I used to get like really like tight. Like, oh, like, damn, why the fuck not? You know what I mean? But like now, fuck like, you. Nah, yo, like all of this shit. Is <laughs> Take the shit to pounce. I'm, yeah. I'm just like honored that anybody wants to work with me at all. Right. Yeah. Like for real. And like, and I'm very lucky I get to work at these like tiers. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, this is, these are, we're talking ARC and Supreme. This is A1, bro. This yeah, is, there's yeah, nothing like, above that, you know? Pretty like, much. Six. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the only thing I could possibly do is start my own shit. You know what I mean? And like, and I would love to do that, but that takes so much. Crawford worldwide, bro. Time and effort. Global. And I would love <laughs> to do that. And, you know, maybe we could work that out. Are we going to see anything from Crawford worldwide anytime soon? Uh, you while know, we're like, talking about it. In all honesty, like I've been trying to like refocus and do a lot more paintings. Sure, you know, like um, versus I, like tees and like hats and stuff like yeah, you've like, done in the past. I'm, work, I'm still, you know, like I I still take on the gigs. Like if somebody hits me up, like I'm like oh, you know, and it's a brand that I'm into. Yeah, I work with them. You know what I mean? Like, but I and also, you know, like I'm just I'm just trying to work. I don't know. I don't know how to. I really, I never have a plan. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm trying, well, that's I'm pretty trying clear. To get better with that. You know right. I mean? Like, I'm trying to, look, like, right now. And you know what? Everyone I'm, has a plan until they get punched in the face. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fail to plan, plan to fail. Like, yeah. Like, I don't even want to say that like, I don't have that. a plan, but, like, I do have a loose plan that I'm right. trying to, like, put together. But right now, I'm really just trying to work on doing, like, concentrate and make some paintings and do a lot more of my own artwork and, like, get yeah. that going. 
Because like I've gotten some momentum there. Because you don't got to split that revenue with anyone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just thinking you know, like a I'm, fucking. If I'm with a gallery, I have to split it with. Right, right, like right. Diehard right. capitalist. Yeah. What has Supreme done recently that's like really moved your dick? I really like the Masoni thing because I love. Oh Masoni. yeah, yeah. I'm like I was a heater with Masoni. I love that. Do you shit. own a lot of Masoni? I don't own a lot. I have a couple of pieces that are very, very, very special to me. Like I, I think Masoni's underrated too because they do amazing furniture, yeah. bro. They yeah, do like man. crazy shit. Yeah, like I went. Didn't I went they do? To, um, didn't they do the interior of um? Quincy Jones's crib. Yes, 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 yes. He, oh, he was yeah. like, obs- he is, he's still alive, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah. obsessed with Missoni. And I think, yeah, GQ did a whole thing where like they Fire. like basically he has an, uh, I don't know if it's his whole crib or a room, but all Missoni interiors that, like that's fucking, fucking dope, furniture man. and everything. Like I'm up on the furniture and the uh, the bedding from, yeah. uh, what's the name of it? ABC carpet. I used yeah. to like, when I was in teenager, I would go in. I would like smoke blunts in front of my high school and then go to ABC carpet to like cut class and just like touch things. Have you right. been to the ABC <laughs> carpet recently? It is not looking good. Oh, it's them. over. It's, yeah. it's a wrap for them. They're done. It's just the restaurant and then yeah. like. No, the restaurant is good. Yeah. The restaurant's good. The you casino? Know crazy shit? You, want, you know some nutso shit? Like that they've been in business for over a hundred years. What? Renting that place. Really? really? Yeah. They don't own that building. They've been renting that building Damn. for over a hundred years. What's that rent control? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's crazy. I don't know what the hundred years. Yeah, like a hundred years. Damn, that's some like back in like gangs in New York yeah, fucking it's, it's shit. Fucking nuts. And like now they're just now they're going away, which is sad because that's a dope store. So you mentioned like the Missoni thing. One thing that I know that James and I both love is the cardigan that you fucking died. And I obviously you. like Thank it's you. super. You're welcome. It's super yeah. flattering. I like you're saying like for Supreme to reach out and fuck with you. But what is it like seeing the next level like a piece of yours sell out and seeing a kid wear it on the street? Like is that even another level of like it's validation? So or? It's so dope. It's fucking ill. Because like um, do you go to me like yo? I made, made that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> let me, nah, let, do, let let me do, sign it. Let me no, sign I it. Do just and smile. Like, James, no. Jamie is black. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little known fact. James Jebby is black as hell, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, nah. Like, yeah, when I see people wearing this stuff, it's really cool. Like, it makes me feel good. And like, when I see people like, like people tag me and stuff, because I talk about it. There's a lot of people who design for Supreme. It's they not. Keep, do they purpose? Do they keep it like under wrap? Does Supreme want you to keep it under wraps? Are they cool oh. with you? Kind of like not that you're shouting from the rooftops, but like that's all oh, I know. What you're only, making is you they put keep it out giving there. me work. And, uh, <laughs> and and James started calling me by my name. Basically. Oh, so big fucking <laughs> flex alert. I think it's okay. That's cool. Oh, so he's like, he's like, what's up, Sean? Yes. Black, is black like, James, black James Jebbia. Yeah. Knows your name. Black JJ. James Jebbia, a black man. Yeah. That's fire, dude. Yeah. Was, Damn. Cool. Wait, so how, how long has the relationship been with Supreme? I feel like it's been only a couple years, right? Yeah, only a couple years, but um because you've done what? Graphics for tees. Yeah. You've graphics done, for tees, um, the sweater, uh, baseball, the, a baseball shirt. Baseball shirt. Uh fuck. Uh what else? The snowman hoodie that just came oh out. right yeah, yeah yeah and the like and then also you know like with that too it's like that yo know, Supreme is dope man because like agreed there's there's mad people in there working mad super talented people like oh, yeah. working there all day and then like all the, that's all why the it's artists, Supreme bro because they hire people. good people and like whether it's a freelancer like you or you know your yeah, boy Nick like, who's fucking tapped you know in. like I'll I'll give them a drawing and then when I see what they do with it it's like, oh it's like oh, elevated shit. on yeah, another like, level fire. you know like yeah. the sweater that just came out that was like a combination of three different sweaters like i oh, wow. like really? i had made it like when i started doing those rugs you know like i was like all right i figured out how to dye the wall i started uh doing a couple i did a couple fisherman sweaters and they bought one off of me and then um i then i submitted another two and then they kind of put them all together they voltroned it up into yeah. like and it came out and it was that you know what yeah. i mean like and it's fucking sick. i mean that was one of the i mean that's one of the best pieces in the whole season and it's that's cardigan sold out like you know they i was it. out of here bro. they killed it you know what i mean and it's not it's not just me it's a right, collaborative right. effort you sure. know what i mean yeah. like i like i do submit things but then sometimes they add to it and it just, it's just do you get to request thing. like whatever you want and get flow team is that like one of the perks of like being um, in the in the inner circle yeah, or? They, they hook it up sick they, they hook it up and then um you know in the pieces that you make they give you right, right, a right. certain number of those too which hell is yeah yeah, and Fuck I get to yeah, give dude. those out as gifts. All right, well, we'll, we'll be looking <laughs> yeah, forward yeah, to yeah, a cardigan yeah. next season for yeah. sure, dude. <laughs> no, doubt. hell yeah, dude. You've thank also, you, Sean. So, Let me thank you in advance. Bro. <laughs> we talked about Art, Goyard, Supreme. We've also worked. We talked about Nike. Mm-hmm. We worked with Bape, BBC. Mm-hmm. Is there a dream brand that you'd Ooh. love to work with one day? Yeah, I want to work with Goyard. Oh, again. Yeah. Oh, kind of like it back. Take it back full circle on some on some Virgil shit. Kind of like close that loop. Yeah, not for them, with them. Yeah, I want to work exactly. I don't want to work for them. I want to work with them. Yeah. Will they always have like a special I'll never place? Work for anyone again? Fuck, Fuck yeah. that! That's a fucking you know I mean? bar, dude. Was that Fuck the last that. time Bars. you worked for somebody? Was Goyard? Yes. Yeah. Yep. 
was the last time I had a job. I That's the job. thing that like six years ago. Lawrence and I, uh, we've worked for ourselves for coming up on two, two years. years. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, it's and dope. I think it's, it's like, the yo, only way to fly, baby. No, it's dope and it, it really, really is. Good it's priceless. Too. Yeah. 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 You really can't good. put it down. Like, it's you know, it's like, Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not fucking rich or anything like that. But like, yo, I can like pay my bills now and like actually take a cab. This shit is fucking great. Right. Though we are, re- we are reimbursing <laughs> you, as we yeah. said. All good. Yeah. yeah I'm taking <laughs> the do, black and, home. And I told it you that. It is a big trip to Uber pool. Yeah. 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 No, you know what I mean? Like, I could like pay my bills and not really like think about it too much. And. Shit is just great, man. It's, it feels really good, you know. Like, you, I, like I don't, I don't really know how to like, like, yo. I'm just grateful. Right. As a working right. artist, was there ever like a Hashtag moment where blessed. you kind of had to, where you had your your artistic ambitions were in doubt? Were you like, yo, I don't know if I can make it? Yeah. I'm always in doubt. Every, every day, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm always in doubt. You just gotta get, gotta get past that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, a thing that I realized a while ago, right, is um, okay. So I've been around a long time. I'm 43 years old, right? I've been hanging out downtown since i was 12 13 right seen it all seen it all right and throughout all of that there's always like these people that you're like oh this dude fucking sucks like, fuck <laughs> this guy right and you see them all the time like, yeah you, know, you, see, yeah, you see a lot of them in new and york bro and they're like eager and shit and they're annoying or whatever <laughs> right and then no, then you see those people like 10 years down the line and they're fucking killing it right and you're like yo why yeah. how's this dude doing anything yeah, right? that like, guy turned out to be mike bloomberg yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah that's you know, giuliani there's, bro there's a lot of these people there's a lot of these people right you know what i mean and then as in maturing, I'm like, okay, like those people, not they're not not that they're focused, but they're really enthusiastic about certain things sure. and they stay on that thing forever. Right. You know what I mean? And they and they've literally been working at it for 15 years while you are talking shit about them. Well, that's and what it, that's <laughs> the, well, it's like get, also with age, you move past the hater mentality where it's like, don't be worried about what another man is doing. Focus exactly. on yourself. That's exactly. why those guys are yeah. where they're at. Versus, minding yeah. my own business. Oh man, there you go. Yo, honestly, <laughs> if you're listening at home, yo, mind your fucking business. Yeah. Yeah, Turn this business. off. Mind your fucking. <laughs> yeah, business. yeah, yeah. You already, down, <laughs> you already got the <laughs> download. Yeah. Don't worry about me, brother. <laughs> yeah. Don't watch me watch TV, dog. Yeah, 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 As yeah. a man, why are you listen to another <laughs> man yo. talk about his life? <laughs> As a man, why are you listen to another man talk about his life? Okay, Fuck so wrong. you want to work? With, you want to work the go? Yard. Do you have ideas of what the go yard link up could be? Like, like this is something that you've been. Thinking about for the past can't, six years, I can't give out the sauce right well, now. I'm just wondering. Tons no, just generally, of them, tons yeah. of them, but I wouldn't go. Have you reached out, or has, is that? I'm still in contact. Okay, all right. With, I mean, that would be with fucking. Lisa and Remy, and no, I'm still in contact with Remy. Yeah, like I'll like I'll send him an email, and he actually answers me, which is awesome. That's fire. Yo, <laughs> <Remy's listening. laughs> Yo fingers crossed. That would be fucking sick. No, what was funny too is if like, Remy's listening, please send through two. two yeah, I would love so a wallet, know, bro. You know I was ill. Like, all right, so Remy would also pick me up from a hotel every day and drive me. From the fucking cat. Oh, so you guys got there. to obviously know each other and form yeah, so a real like bond. What was he? What was like, he whipping? Yeah. Oh man, he had like a crazy Audi. Okay. Yeah, like he had a sweet Audi. Like it was like it was pretty sick. The transport. And, um, and he um was really into Supreme. Oh shit! It was mad funny. Like, I mean, who isn't right? Yeah, he but, told yeah. me that he lived me. in DR for a while and used to surf out there, and it was also like in New York a lot, and was really into Supreme. Damn. Like I had like a bunch of Supreme hats. Shit when I was out there, and I was like, "Yo, you know, oh, if you like, want anything? Yeah. Do, you, do you do you ever you put him know, on? You ever I'll put him on flow? Yeah, do you send him like cardigans and shit? I, we've never we never got to that. Okay, you know what I mean, right. but like he, uh, I, I want to. I definitely yeah. want to. If you have extras shit. after us, you should absolutely. Hook them up. I think that'd be <laughs> that'd be chill, dude. That'd indeed, be cool. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so Goyard is on your dream list to work with, but yeah, in terms of just sick. like, if you had to do a Mount Rushmore brands, your top four brands unranked that you could only wear for the rest of your life, unranked. What are those four? I don't know, man. Like I go, I go back and forth all the time. Like well, Supreme, today. Supreme's got to be on there, right? Supreme, of course. You know what I mean? I really love Missoni. So okay, there you go. Missoni every day. I would wear that shit every single day. Like, some, there's so some, many pieces I would wear. It every some Missoni panties. <laughs> yeah, silky dude. We need the silk boxes. <laughs> cashmere on the we nuts. Need the, yeah. the silk Missoni boxes for sure. Got my um, dick ensconced in cashmere. What else? What else? What else? Ralph. Love Ralph. Uh, Ra- Ralph is good. You know what I mean? I oh, I don't ever want to shit on Ralph. Like you know, what I mean that shit is dope. He's unimpeachable. It, it intru- yeah, it introduced me to luxury clothing. Right. Yeah, you know I mean like the lifestyle. Yeah, because yeah. I used to be really into low. I used to be like on low life type oh, shit. shit and all that, like wearing guessing low head to toe. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my man Sack Low Ian Reed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is Ark on there? Uh, Ark Terex, of course. Uh, yo. Wait, so, okay, so we got Supreme Missoni. Uh, yo, I really. Arcteryx. Oh yeah. Well, 
<laughs> Yo, what yeah, happened? you and me Wait. both, brother. God yeah. damn, that Were you so fire. Yo. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> of all the people uh, in the Ark family, fire. of yeah. all the people in the Arcteryx universe and family, I figured that you would be on fucking seating list tier zero. No, yeah. it's okay. When we were out, to, <laughs> when we were out to dinner, well, there were some rumblings and grumblings that some things were going to be falling into everyone's lap that's sitting right here right now. And here we are, Arkless. Jillis. Well, I'm not, Jillis. I'm not Arkless. I'm Jillis. Well, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, we're not Arkless. And we appreciate all of our yeah. Ark. But yeah. All right, so who's, who's, that, who's in that too? fourth that fourth yeah. rare slot? Is it Nike? Yeah. I like Nike sneakers. I don't like Nike's gear. Right. So your own shit. gear is bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my own stuff. Yes. At my own stuff on an elevated level. Yeah, you know, Cross and worldwide, forward? global, yes. global. Okay. Oh, and yo, oh man, I really like engineered garments. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, come on, I bro. love engineered garments. That's just dope. When and, you worked with the Penthes, like, yeah. did you get? Is that was that the first time you kind of got tapped in the hole in the Penthes yep. umbrella? Yep, it's crazy. Did you uh, fall in love immediately? I Angelo, mean, we are big. Angelo from the Penthes hit me up. Urutia, uh, yes. How do you pronounce his last name? Urutia, oh, Urutia. Okay. Yeah, I love him. That's my boy. I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing your last name correctly, Angelo. Oh. I love you, bro. You're, you're the illest. Um, <laughs> he hit me up. Friend of the pod. He hit Forest me up. Designs. Yeah, like he, he yes. To Forest the moon. Designs to the moon. Forest Designs, which stands for Seed Showing Some Samples. But we're on the same page here, bro. Angelo hit me up. Uh, <laughs> he he had hit me up through Avi actually, and was like, "Yo, like I'd like you to have a show." Mm. at Nepenthes and uh, originally I was going to do like paintings and then I just completely switched it all up and just did all like upholstery work just right. like uh, well, I don't even want to call it upholstery work I did uh, I made those big pillows and then I made yeah. uh, the rugs and stuff and I showed uh, the big devil rug that I, yeah, yeah. That I sold which is fucking awesome and like I sold I ended up selling a lot of those pieces after what's the most you've show. ever sold something for uh, if I may be so gauche as to ask that question. Yeah, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> it's gotta be like but my pricing is eight good. Eight figures. Seven. <sighs> six. <laughs> soon. 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 Soon come. Soon come. Soon come. 2022. Yeah. Well, as an artist. Yeah. And as someone that's very online and sees everything. Art Basil's happening right now. Like, <laughs> have you ever had any fucking desire to yeah. join that orgy of just like unbridled consumption? Uh, if I was invited, I would 100% show there. Just yeah. part, uh, oh, to show. to show. Yeah, you got to show. You right. Know, like people, if if a gallerist, if it's a reputable gallery that I know actually sells work. Right, right, right. You, so like as an artist, yeah, do you, I would show with them. As an artist, do you like playing ball, like kind of entering the circuit and like having to go through the motions of like, whether it's galleries, whether it's buyers, whether it's. Um... Again, I've been very, very, very lucky, very blessed. I've only really worked with one gallery and has been Anthony Gallery, owned by Easy Otobar, who has been excellent to work with. Excellent. You know what I mean? Like, I he did every single thing that he said he was going to do. Sick. You know and is I mean? that rare in the art world? Hell yeah. Well, he's like, an, I mean, speaking of like the Virgil Orbit and like how those guys have changed the game, he's like an art outsider, like doing it like right. You know? normally like yeah. uh, people he's just scam in the mix and, and he's doing very well. He's he's getting it. That, he's that's getting it in right. Chicago, the gallery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The but typically Chicago. if if somebody is an artist and they're kind of entering the circuit, like, are you dealing with like scammers and thieves and pimps and crooks? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's just uh, like fashion. Yeah. Basically, yeah. It's like, you know, it's salesmen. You it's know, like, like a salesman sell you. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? They so you a dream, bro. And then, you know, you got to like. Who's selling who? Yeah, like, you, <laughs> I guess it's only how you think about it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm very passionate about the work that I make and I love my art. But like, I also know that, all right, I have in my mind, right? Like, I learned a long time ago that everything that you don't fucking need is a luxury. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, I'm in the luxury goods business. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No one needs anything that I make. Right. At all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nobody needs any of this shit at all. Like, they don't need any of my art. They don't need anything but they want it. Sure. And right. they're into it. You know what I mean? So somebody, you got to get somebody to sell it. You know yep. what I mean? Like you can't do all that shit. You know what I mean? Yep. Like you can do a lot of the work yourself. You know what I mean? It's, and you can, you can do it. I've been able to sell work on my own, but you can get somebody to help you and they can elevate. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? You, help elevate. You need, you. You need the, the support system. Yeah. Yeah, that, like, it's a pla- it's, we're all we're already talking about this whole platform, yeah. right? That's kind of it's completely possible to do it yourself. You know what I mean? Like, and you can make it happen. It's just it's a lot of work. Yeah, not that we know what we're talking about when I ask mm-hmm. this question, but uh, have you ever considered NFTizing your work? <laughs> no, no, no. Nah. What do you I, think of the NFT boom? It's a fucking scam wrapped in another scam. This <laughs> is bullshit. I don't, yeah. I don't fuck with that. Like, you know, I think especially your shit is so tactile, right? And like, yeah, like it's at the same time I though, I get, I get selling ideas. 
You know right. what I mean? I get that. You know what I mean? And I, I don't, I don't know, man. That's just all I'm gonna say is that because I've seen has been goofy. Pretty much. You know what okay. I mean? Like, and there's things that make You're sense. You're not fucking with the bored apes. <laughs> that shit is awful. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That Kicked shit, out of the yacht ugly. club, dude. It's just fucking ugly. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I was right. buying it for the art sake of it. I get Damien Hurst doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because Damien Hurst actually has a fucking audience and sells a lot of work. And if you can buy a Damien Hurst for a thousand dollars. Right. You do it. Fuck yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Makes fucking sense. Sure. Right. But, you know what I mean? Like, all right, I have a small audience. Like, how much am I going to sell this shit for? Right. You know what I mean? And then I don't have like a, I don't know if I have a crypto audience that will like help right. boost the shit. Because that's what that shit all is. It's just like, yeah, dudes boosting a thing. You know what I mean? Like, wheeling and dealing if I, crypto. I, I, people, like, if I'm an artist, right? And like, I'm having trouble selling my art, but like, all my bros and me have crypto, right. we can elevate my sure. art through that. And then maybe you can inflate value into it. Yep. Yes. And then maybe get it's it going. artificial. You know what I mean? To but then extent. that's like a whole other thing. Like, yo, you can be doing that shit with your real art, man. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it's just, and everything I see is just whack. This shit's just bad. I'm sorry. I'm not being a proponent <laughs> of it. I have a friend who makes some pretty cool ones, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not into it. You're not into it, yeah. I'm not into Personal it. You choice. are set up, though, I think mm-hmm. quite well, if you wanted to get into it, with the like the the characters that you have, yeah. right? Like dri- uh, Drip Rich drip. or drip like, rich. Like, Universal Greenings people. Mm-hmm. Like those are all characters yeah. that people could like collect and like buy into this like right. universe of like, you know, a- anamorphic fucking beings. And then also that shit is like, also like really environmentally bad sure yeah you know i mean like it takes mad energy to make that shit to make right. the nfts yeah i am really into um making less and making that more valuable it's is it well let's talk about that is that like as part of the rebird arcteryx like what part of that kind of speaks to you and what how does that intersect with your art i think it's really dope to uh you know like take the old pieces and make something upcycling. out of it. Yeah, the upcycling part. I'm, I'm really into that. I think that's really cool. Keep like, that footprint small. Yeah, you know, like in whatever you can do to like help the environment, you should be doing it. Right. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I mean? Like I, my whole thing is I like to make less. Like I kind of am trying to follow like Goyard's model. You right. Know what I mean? Like make really quality pieces. Don't really be on some like advertising it even you know what right. I mean? I like it advertise. speaks for itself yeah like let it speak for itself. i do advertise because i'm on instagram heavy you know what i mean like that's what i yeah use instagram that's for. your platform yeah, yeah choice you yeah know? but um you know like just not chasing a thing right you know what i mean like i right. have you have a clear vision of what you want to be as an artist yeah you know what i mean and then like basically i all right, I I see things like all right. Uh, oh, I'd like to add capital to that list of brands. Ooh, oh, sure, I totally. really like capital. Like, and I like capital. Their the, die work is fucking next level. Yeah, that shit is dope. Like, I'm like just inspired by capital. Right. Like, anytime I have like some money, like this shit is really funny. Like, I'll get it. Like, say I get a job, do get a job, do good, make some money. I'll go to a store to go buy some capital, and I will like touch it, and I like, re- and I'll just like, oh, I want to buy this so bad, <laughs> and I just never buy, it and I go home and I make something. Right, right. So, that's right. so you're like really, getting inspired to go home and yeah, do, and but you're not pulling the trigger. You know, you got to do. Yeah, it's too expensive. It's too much. <laughs> if I was in, if I had someone in Japan that could sure. me up, then you I need would a proxy, get, bro. You know what like, you got to yeah. do? You got to get yourself to Japan. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you take a, a yeah, cargo wanna... ship there because you don't want to fly there for the environment, <laughs> um, and go to the capital <laughs> stores there. One. Because it's fucking a lot cheaper than it is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like a fucking I don't know. There must be like a capital tariff in like the U.S. government economy or whatever. Yeah, it's crazy. And also, I'm sure the that you'll be boy just tax. hell inspired by the fucking tax. actual retail experience you'll have yeah, in, I, in I, all I, three I, stores in Tokyo. Like I was, I oh my god, it would be a dream to like go to their mill and like see what these dudes do. Like you know what I mean? Like watching, like see the denim be made, watch them paint that shit and all. That. I would love that. Would be amazing to me. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm really into that. I want to see how you make this stuff. I, I want to get into yeah. it. I want to get my hands dirty. As someone know? that paints on, uh, or, you know, one of the things you do is paints on clothing. Uh, were you ever into Avisu jeans? Yes and no. <laughs> yes, that, like that. All right. So um, when that whole wave was going on and like the whole like sneaker thing kind of exploded, the whole resale market and all that, I completely checked out. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck about any of that shit. Like I'd like the early, like Supreme and all that. I just did not care. Yeah, right. I, like I don't like that shit is just too much for me. You what was the mean? last like, pair of sneakers you really lusted after and maybe like paid extra for whether on resale or like you had I've to jump pay resale for sneakers ever. I like that. A man after that. my own heart. Yeah. It's fuck no that. way. Damn. That shit is stupid. Wish I could like, say the same. If, <laughs> if sneakers are $120, I'm not giving you $500. Right. right, right I sure. don't give a fuck. Like I just don't have to have those. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'll it pass. Is what it is. Like I, I'm an older person. I, 
used to, when Air Max first came out, like the 97 Air Max, 96s, right. all that shit. Yeah. In 1996. Would, yeah. you, would to, you would go to the store on 116th Street and get your size 12. And if they didn't have it, you could go to 122nd right. and they would have it. And like, that was it. And that and was it. Had, and then you, and you have your silver balls. Yeah. And you were great. You yeah. know what I mean? And, like, and you could get another pair. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm into that. That whole. Yeah. It is crazy that that literally is a model that does not exist anymore. Yeah. Because like none of this shit is scarce either. And like, Every well, it's artificial. It's artificially annoying. scarce. Yeah, like everything's annoying. Like eat general releases, even like people yeah. just buying them up to sell them for thirty dollar fucking profit. I think I just saw that? a thing that Nike apparently is going to limit <laughs> now how many Air Force want, like white forces you can even like buy at a certain yeah. time because like even that like they you know there's a cap on the supply. Yeah, just, is it? But that might be a supply chain issue. I, don't I mean, yeah. Know. So yeah, like recently, like yeah. they don't they want to sell more sneakers. So. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> so, like the super hype sneakers is something you're not into, or or people treating it like a fucking financial asset where you can like trade just like an nft market. and don't get me wrong i want all of those fucking sneakers right right I totally no i'm, I'm with you yeah, yeah. the hype sneakers like I they're want sick every pair <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, want but you just want them, them for retail yeah man i want to go to fucking store and buy them. Yeah. <laughs> like and i don't want to get online i don't want to fucking <laughs> register to get yeah, yeah. online yeah. like what the fuck is that yeah. yo that is oh man, entering a raffle awesome, for bro. a chance to get the opportunity the privilege of giving a company your money it's insanity it really is E-A-D. i hate it E-A-D, we hate it. Dick. This podcast hates <laughs> eat a it. dick. That's the worst thing. <laughs> yeah. in the world. Fuck Is there out. another trend out there you're seeing right now where she like snap your fingers, and make it disappear? But besides just like the resale secondary market, um, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not to be a hater because um, that's bad, but. But a Mary Jean. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah right. okay. We're fishing. We're now we're fishing with dynamite. Oh man! Everyone snap your fingers. Yo, yeah, I don't understand that. Those jeans. I don't. It's you're not. That shit's crazy. You're not gonna find any answers from us. That shit's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> okay. Let's let's go back to the art for a second. Um. So as like a independent, working, successful artist mm-hmm. that is like true to your vision and kind of like you know at this point in your career you can kind of like handpick. Um. You're not like doing work that you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. What is I was never doing work that I didn't want to do. But for some emerging for artists, work. for yeah. some artists that are like, <laughs> you know, maybe turning the corner or kind of bubbling or um, deciding that they want to do this as a full time pursuit. What's like some bozo behavior that is common that you think they should avoid? Yeah. Uh, don't be talking hot online. <laughs> just don't do that shit. Like, it's just stupid. You know what I mean? Like, oh, man. Uh, like, don't. And don't cake for these brands, bro. Right. What does that mean? Like, don't. Be out here like, oh, this brand's the best that this brand's the best. The best this. But they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck all that, bro. Like, fuck that shit. Like, they're Don't just sip. brands. It's just, yeah. just stuff. Stop just sucking stuff. brand right. dick. Yeah. You know, like, stop thinking that you brought something back to life and think shit like that unless you actually are working with that company. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of shit. It's it's like, is this an me. ego, is like an ego problem that exists with yeah, artists yeah. in, the, then, in the scene? Yeah. Or? And then, um, I guess, um, I don't know. It's, how do I say this? Like, cause I, you know, I, mean, I think I'm the shit too, but <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like just humble yourself a little bit. You know what I mean, like just, you know, just, just know that you're not the illest. Slow your roll. Yeah. yeah no, you're not you're, that guy. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> just like, and don't, Oh God, man, don't, <laughs> don't do fake George Kondo painting. Like stop that. <laughs> There's like, I see that. a lot of that, dude. Like people that like are doing like their their own version. Stop that, shit. but in a way that is <laughs> stop l- it. Less it's, homage and more of like it. they, they, they do yeah. full copies. It's yeah, awful. Like it's really bad. You know what I mean? Like, and I get like artists have like a lot of influence, and you can sure. learn from them, and like and like you should be learning from other artists and picking up from them, and but you got to mix that shit together. You right? mentioned, you know what the, I mean? yeah, <laughs> like, you, you got to mix you, it up. You mentioned like Con- Supreme and put all three sweaters into one. Yeah. Yes. You, yeah. 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 <laughs> you you got- mentioned Damien Hurst. You mentioned George Kondo. What other artists do you, do you personally really enjoy in terms of like, you my know, my favorite artist yeah. is uh, R. Crumb. Okay. I love R. Crumb. Legend. R. Crumb's fucking ill. Like I was actually in a show with R. Crumb. That shit was sick. That was fucking dope. Like career my, highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, the first, the first real show I was in is a group show called the written trace. And um, my Dylan Krause was in that show. Uh, Rose Selene. Those are all people that I know. Like, that, those are my friends. I really like those homies. Kids. Um, fucking R. Crumb was in that show. And my name was right next to his. Sick. Was, uh, oh, right, right. Yeah, like, that was really sick. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the alphabet, dude. <laughs> it, was a lot, it was like Rushka was in that show. It was oh, wow. sick. It was fucking ill. It was at uh, Castman Gallery. 
Like my piece didn't sell, I still have it. If anybody's interested, <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> shit going up. If you can't get a crumb, we get you a like, Crawford, dude. Shit going up, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to buy in. Yesterday's price is not today's price. It's time to Eat buy in. Price of the Crawford is going up. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a lot of people, man. Um, shit, there's a lot of people that I that I'm really into their work. I I can't remember like names right now. Maybe I can say something later. Add that yeah, 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 I think yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, that's a you yeah, just like, drop some. Yeah, those are like gems, my dude. favorites. So like, you know, what I mean, like uh, George Kondo is really dope. You know, what I mean, like I I didn't always like his paintings, and then I started to see more of them, and then I was like, oh, these these paintings are sick, really. Like, yeah, like they're like so layered, and like there's a lot of stuff going on in them, and they're really cool. Shout out like, fucking George Kondo. Yeah, George yeah. Kondo's dope. John, as a born and bred, born and raised New Yorker, mm-hmm. you get a lot of people. Lawrence and I get hit up a lot. Uh, Lawrence is born on a cul-de-sac in Jersey. <laughs> okay, um, I was I <laughs> regrettably. Grew up, I grew up near Washington Irving. Um, Lauren, high Where school, at? uh, Stye Town, the white, okay. pro- the white oh. projects, okay. yeah. six, six, six. James Jebby was not there because <laughs> not kidding. Um, he wasn't there. if somebody <laughs> you wasn't there, <laughs> if someone's visiting NYC, mm-hmm. what's on the Sean Crawford must hits of food shopping, yeah, getting fucked up. Like what's a perfect drop some, Saturday just on, drop some in, gems in the on Sean Crawford quick. world? I don't hang out at all. I, <laughs> okay. I, I hang out in my house. Like I used to hang out a lot. I don't know what the fuck's hot anymore. So where do you eat? No, 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 no. Where do you want to go? Where do you want going out to get a meal? Oh, uh, uh, there's a lot of places. Uh, like we're at Lucian, right? That's where we all kind of <laughs> yeah, Lucian is linked cool. and built. Like uh, shit. Uh, what, damn, I'm trying to think. I really like lore. Yeah, I like Laura. Like, Laura, <laughs> Laura, like I like. I just like the way it yeah, looks. Yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to go there a lot back in the days, and the food was a little. Apparently better that than it is I, now. I, I've talked shit about them before, but apparently that's like an institution. Okay, yeah, like th- we've been for lunch before. We've taken like if people the food's not as good as it used to be. Laura, and they took and they took the best thing off the menu, which, which is was the what? surf and turf. Which oh, was okay. Lit. It was a flaming mignon and lobster tail. It was so we prefer fire. finelli's, which is just like yeah. I mean, uh, here, here's the deal, right? If we're taking each other out to lunch, like we're just doing our own thing, company card. I'm a big Baltazar guy. If someone is taking us out, we're going. A lore. It's uh, a different. Right. You know. I'm a big Baltazar guy. Well. Oh yeah, same oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. Like when we, our yeah. lawyer takes us no, out, we're yeah. like, "Yo, let's go." Like to I'm, a, I'm a friend of the McNallys. I love the McNallys. Oh, good shit. people. Good people. Good people. Through you Harry, know, like Harry, Harry growing McNally, up, that's my man. Wait, so I love Harry, I used so to party like, with Harry. With him and and <laughs> Bowery Bob, were you like running with like Peg, Peg Leg? Leg that crew? Uh, not not th- not them exclusively. Like we had our own thing. Is uh, I used to hang out with my man Sane really heavy when they you know team facelift and fat yeah, Q and yeah, all yeah, them. Yeah. I used to, yeah. <laughs> I used to hang out with them really heavy. <laughs> and then yeah. we had a uh, PPP crew, uh, Peter Pan Posse. You know what I mean? Not <laughs> like, the donut. Not, not the, the donut. donut no, yeah. no, no, no. Peter Pan Posse, uh, which is the Lost know, Boys. Never grow up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I actually have a Peter Pan <laughs> tattoo, which is ridiculous. Like I'll how show big you. is it? It's it's oh I'll show it to you. Okay. Let's see. All right, we're put gonna, this on the zoo board. We're gonna. Uh, I'll, I'll narrate this. Okay, so Sean, like Sean is chest? taking his. No. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's fucking <laughs> yeah, suited. <laughs> yo, yo, he's, he's was he smoking a blunt? Yeah, he's, he's smoking dust. <laughs> he's, he's smoking like, dust. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's uh, he is bugged out. Yeah, yeah, he's smoking dust. Yo, are any of these yeah. PC that Peter. you have you did you draw any of your own tattoos? I designed every single one. Really? Yeah. Shit, dude. Yeah, these uh the drip which you see has the Air Max oh, 97s yeah, yeah. on. That's why it was very important for me to get those uh Virgil 97s. Right, right, right. Uh, that was funny when I got the job, I was like, yo, I have nine sevens tattooed on my body. You gotta like give me all the nines. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um so these this, are all your it's all your art. That's yeah. a, a, a a cop pig trying to trace down drip rich, yes. right? But he's zooming away in yeah, the nine sevens. That's, that's yeah. uh RFC running from cops. Left them in his you know fucking I mean? dust. Uh, my above the law tattoo that I got <laughs> when I was about 18 years old Damn, like fucking law, I could dude. get into that later um, this is uh, a Masonic mystery that I have um, you know all these things have their own is that meanings. like a little Testarossa right there is a Lambo yeah, it's a Lamborghini yeah <laughs> yeah like my, my girl is the yellow Lambo <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then I got my Mickey Mouse water in the pyramid yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking and then, uh, Pharaoh and Mickey here, like, yeah uh, yeah Keith Clifton is the first thing I ever learned how to draw. Okay. Yeah. So like when you were a kid, Cliff is important. That was your guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> like I used to trace that shit until I like actually got the shapes down. Yeah. What's and like the, now I could just draw with my eyes closed, kind of. What's the order of Balthazar? Yeah. Uh damn. <sighs> Seafood Tower. Uh, Goddamn uh, motherfucking right. Seafood Tower. Uh what else? Uh, which one though? The, the Grand, Grand or the Balthazar? Oh, yeah. The big jaw. <laughs> the three, the three tier. Yo, yeah. you know, okay. <laughs> I, so I asked the waiter about this. In the club sandwich for lunch. Yeah, yeah. You know, wait, Carco, the only difference between the always. two seafood towers is that the, the bigger one, the Bal- Le Balthazar, mm-hmm. you get a full lobster. Yeah. Okay. And then everything else, it's the, same, it's the same like oyster, yeah. clam, mussels, ceviche, lobster. shrimp. But 
Yeah, it's just, scramp- it's just one more full lobster, but everything yeah. else is the same. Okay. Damn. Okay. Just FYI. $30 difference. Up to you. All good. Whatever. That's, but you're talking about $30 $30 lobster. $30. That's not bad, bro. $30 is $30. Thirty dollars for a lobster? Yeah, 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 All right, so you it. get the what's the what's the dinner order? Uh, I'll get like the steak. That's called steak free. And uh, uh, yeah, the steak free or or the um filet mignon. Sometimes. And just one suckle on that statue's perfect titty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that far into okay. it. <laughs> Sean, tis the motherfucking season. Yeah, baby. What do you want for Christmas, my G? Yeah, I want this Missoni hat that I just posted <laughs> in my stories. If anybody this wants to give me that hat, for the man, fucking Missoni drip, it's fire. It's, no, out. it's like a, it's a fucking Scully Sewn six. No, it's, it's a Scully with fucking like uh, a scarf attached to oh, it. Like I think yeah. it's a woman's hat, but it's fire. I want that. <laughs> Fuck it, yo Santa, if you're listening, I want that yeah. fucking hat. My man ain't been naughty this year. Hook yo, it send up, it. Bro. Santa. Uh, send it. No, yeah. the, if, if you're Yellow Lambo, yeah. life partner's listening. <laughs> also, I would like my apartment to be finished. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. The fucking, fucking DOB's sick. listening. Yeah, <laughs> yo, get the elves in there in the yeah, Carhartt. Fucking contract, do it the themselves. Just need to get in there. That's to run up in the DOB and yeah. fucking <laughs> let Chiquita speak. Yeah, hopefully, we'll be able to move into our crib. Like, hopefully, February. Yeah. Sean, this crossed, podcast bro. is a big fan of sucking and fucking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Word. All right. <laughs> we've talked art. We've talked Jones. We've talked Arteryx. Yeah. It's time to talk about meats and cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay yeah so okay so you talked about how you've you've been uh kind of spending all your time the past 30 years downtown you've seen it all you've seen it come you've seen it go you've seen the towers fall you've seen them go back up again yeah. between yeah. all the downtown archetypes of skaters artists writers media folks drug dealers musicians who gets the most ass damn yeah oh fuck uh, the rich dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Any of these dudes with money. Yeah, whoever has. So the, the drug dealers. Yeah, the drug dealers. <laughs> no, nah, you know what? Also, um, damn. All right. When I was hanging out, when I was outside, <laughs> oh man, my boys taught me how to like how to do it with no money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So how to spit game? What? Just for fucking rubber on the rooftop? Like, <laughs> nah, man. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your place <laughs> yeah yeah my place is no good yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm renovating yes yeah. there's, there's someone there yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mom yeah. <laughs> no you gotta lie be like oh we're actually adding in a, a chef's island <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitchen. yeah sorry we're we're uh yeah oh we're renovating God. nah the cool guys get the most ass dude and like graffiti dudes like always kind of fine girls yo it's wild you know what i mean like um it all depends. It is there a name for like, graffiti groupies? Uh, I don't think there really are graffiti groupies. Okay. There's uh, like ta- taggies. There's yeah. like girls that are into graffiti that write graffiti. And right. They date graffiti writers. But like, they're not. Mean? But groupies, no, not nah, necessarily. No. Nah. And then like, like all Miss the Seventeen right, and whatever the money, graffiti the, equivalent yeah, of like, a skater, like a ramp tramp. Yeah. Like yeah. Like <laughs> there's they, not any those, of that. Those a tag are, head. No. That, no. That sounds racist. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's not like that. Okay. I. All writers that I've ever known know always have a girlfriend. Okay. Always. No matter how crazy they right. are or look, they always have a well, they girlfriend. Need, they need someone like to... pretty decent looking. All like right. it's crazy. Not like it's, someone... it's an art thing. Like being yeah, an artist. Yeah, yeah, just like, yeah, creative. Artists. Yes. Being women. interesting. Exactly. Something they need to, talk to post about. bail. Yeah. <laughs> do do art hoes got that demon pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Big follow up question. <laughs> I wouldn't know, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I've never like. But the art, like, the art hoe, the art like, hoe is right. not a new phenomenon. I became a professional, semi known artist. I'm, I'm in a relationship. I wouldn't know about any art hoes. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, no, I don't. I don't even have, like, yo, on Instagram and shit like that, I look at, like, my analytics. I have very little. Oh, yo, we're the same, bro. Very little female oh, followers, dude. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, why don't babes follow me, yeah. dude? Like, I'm good looking. Well, if, like, any, uh, <laughs> if any art hoes are listening, uh, please write into the yo, pod and let us know yo. if you got that demon yeah. pussy. Do, do you, you got that demon pussy? <laughs> do you? Let's talk about it. <laughs> let's, do it let's do an Instagram poll. Yes, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh, man. Devil emoji, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. We're done. We're out. We're, we've made it out the meats and cheeks section. Okay. We're all right. We're on. We've made it out the demon pussy corner, okay. and we're we're moving forward. We're, we're on the Sweet. we're on the home stretch where yeah. we talk about Full everyone's favorite ahead. topic: money. Yeah. Sean, <laughs> love money. How much money do you make? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> How much money would you like to make? Yeah. Like, is there a number where it's like, okay, I can retire, I good. move to the fucking countryside, I like no worries, pay off all my debts, make sure my family's good. 
I don't know. A good a or good house unlimited. A good house costs like three million dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? So would you ever leave New York? Maybe. I mean, you how long were you in New Hampshire for when you were like on your sabbatical? Months. Okay. About four and months. how was it mad boring? Uh we like, was Wal- it? It was interesting. <laughs> were you like Walter White when he's hiding out up there? Yeah. Like it was very live trippy. for your die, dude. Paying people to I, talk to you. No, so keep it. I I was out there with my girl and her mom, right? And because my girl's family has like a summer house in nice. New Hampshire, right? And they like they usually rent it out like in the summers. And right. The family like you know like yeah. rotates going there, right? That's and, where uh, he parked the yellow Lambo <laughs> in New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, right. So um, you know, we went up there and like I don't drive. Me, my girl and I do not drive. So oh, shit. My mom had to drive us everywhere. Damn. Right? <laughs> and like, it's like it, being 15 again. Yeah, it was crazy. You know what I mean? And, um, and we were Driving in Driving Mr. Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> we were in this small house together. And, you know, like we would go out every now and then, like to go get supplies and shit like that. <laughs> and um, New Hampshire was really weird because, um, you know, there's really no black people in New Hampshire. There's very, <laughs> very little. You doubled and, the, po- the black yeah, population. <laughs> pretty straight much. Up. And then um, one thing that was really bug to see out there it was like all the like white supremacist groups damn and uh like how closely do you like, see them they were like flagging very okay. hard like all that like three percent of shit uh, yeah, and, like yeah. oath keepers and all yeah, that yeah. they have the t-shirts on the tattoos the the emblems on their cars like and it's, a, yeah. and it's an open carry state you know like so like you'd be at the ice cream big gun state the ice cream stand and some fucking asshole with a white supremacist tattoo is behind you with a fucking gun you know what i mean like buying ice cream <laughs> So vanilla ice cream. Yeah. That shit. <laughs> no sprinkles. That shit was weird. And it like really was fucking with me for a while until I like uh, took a step back and thought about it. Like, all right, like I live in Flatbush, right? And the area that I live in is very like crip and fucking uh, GD. Yeah. Apparently, right? There's like uh, these like uh, blicky yeah. dudes, right? Like, yeah, two uh, two G's. Film mad videos oh, yeah. in this fucking um park that I like paint the uh the the fucking uh handball court. Like, right, right, right. And every time I've painted that handball court, I get stepped to by by gang members. Oh shit. You know what I mean? But then they, you know, they just yeah. they like, what the fuck you doing back here? And they like, look at the wall and but then they just hang out and yeah. want to like watch you paint. You know, like that's which has always been my experience, like just throughout my whole graffiti career. And um shit is uh man, it's crazy. Like, so basically what it like I see, you know, you see gang members on the street. And they don't necessarily fuck with you unless you're in their face. Right. You know what I mean? So then that was kind of the same thing with these fucking assholes. You just like, leave them like alone. These, yeah, these are fucking gang members. That's, that's yeah. all they are. They're right. gang members and they're trying to flex. And if you don't pay them no fucking mind, then yeah. you kind of see that they're just a bunch of fucking dweebs. Right. You know what I mean? This shit is crazy. You know what I mean? So that was the thing I had to deal with. So you wouldn't move to New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, right. That's no. off the And New Hampshire that's also is fucking weird. Like it's in, it's the only state in that little uh, triangle right there that doesn't have legal marijuana. Oh, really? Yeah. So like you could go to jail for just like smoking weed in New Hampshire. Which is weird. New, New, Hampshire's, like Maine or- New yeah, Hampshire's whole thing is live free or die. It's like libertarian. Yeah, yes, it's weird. Yes, that- it's live free or die. But like yeah. fuck that weed. Yeah. Right. Like it's just fucking ridiculous. Smoke weed and die. Yeah. Smoke weed and die. <laughs> yeah. You could actually buy a gun there with no license. Right. It's crazy. But like you we just walk into the jail. store and buy whatever. And then get shot for smoking. Indeed. <laughs> so you want to buy a nice little house somewhere, maybe like three mil range. Yeah. Um, take care of you and the family. Be what, fire. Do you, what do you like to spend your money on, though, besides like clothes and besides like your own career? <laughs> Food and weed. <laughs> <laughs> Food and weed. Food, weed. And Seafood towers and weed. And experiences. Yeah, like what, like, what, what do you mean by experiences? Like travel? Yeah, like going on a trip. Like and What's just, on your travel bucket list? Not having to think about it. Uh, I really want to go to Italy. I mm-hmm. want to like. We were my, just there. We were just there, bro. Nice. Yeah, like my, my girl is really well traveled and has been a lot of places. And I want to go all the places that she's been and go to mm-hmm. some new places as well. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really want to go to Japan. I've never been out there. Got to get you the capital stores. Yeah. I want to, like, I'd like to do like a little tour around Europe and all that shit. Go like through the mountains, go through the south, all of that. Like, right. there's a, a lot of places. European color go. series. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's right. Work. You got to get Cooper to fucking send your ass fucking global, bro. Exactly. You hear it? <laughs> well, Sean, uh, we want to thank you for coming on to the only podcast. Yeah, man, it's been a fucking yeah, blast. Before we get you out of here, thank you for having you me. You are well. You're welcome, but you're not done just quite yet. Yeah, we're, okay, we're done yeah. with meats and cheeks. We're done with money. Okay. Um, what you got to hear from us now is some constructive criticism, because okay. while you are absolutely fucking smashing, okay, it, tell me what I need to where I need to improve. <laughs> we want like to give it. you some yeah. some. We're outsider artists. Yeah, okay. we are uh, outside of art. Um, <laughs> I'll take the free consultancy. Let's go, bro. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, Lawrence and I, we did some loafers with our good homie Chris at Black Sock and Weber. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we should give you some pairs and you fucking tie dye them and remix them and put those out on the marketplace and see how the world reacts. What yeah. do you think? Hmm. 
little three way collabo. How do you tie dye a shoe? I don't know. That's well. That's <laughs> what you're gonna figure out, bro. Mm. You're gonna tie. You want to get? You want to get? It, well, it's suede. Yeah. Right? Okay. So that's first thing you know. With a uh, with a uh, gold. And do they make the shoes? Fit? They make the shoes here. Or they, no, or the they shoes are locally? those were These made, were made in the UK. They made in the UK. Yeah. Now he makes them in Portugal, which is yeah. like equal quality. Yeah. But cheaper. Cheaper. To okay. Produce. If we could get the materials before the shoe is made. Oh, because you would have you would like tie dye a big piece of uh fabric that yes. would then be put in, like they made made into shoes. Yeah, and I can do leather. I can right. do leather. I've been doing some experiments with that recently Ooh, okay. and, and it works. That um, could be crazy. Yeah, like uh the same said. with like shoes, you know what I mean? Like, all right, this all right. With the tie-dye thing, right? Like I'm re- always really been into tie-dye. I've been trying to figure out how to do it, how to get it right. Right. And there's a lot of different companies and brands people been doing this shit for a really really long time right and when i was coming up with my idea for the arcteryx thing i wanted to tie dye the jacket and i was looking around to see if there were any other examples of tie dyed gore-tex and there were but they were all printed oh okay, okay. right not yeah, 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 yeah. and that printed tie dye shit is whack yeah, right it's right. fucking corny yeah. mad brands do it. it never looks good it's it never looks good it always looks like shit and like i and i know companies do it for uniformity yeah like to sure. sell to stores but that's fucking stupid because we all like tie dye yeah. is supposed to be unique. Uniformity you know I mean? like, is the fucking enemy of dying to begin with. Yes. You know what I mean? So I like I, in order to do the shoes, I would have to literally do the raw materials first and then they have to cut it down do and make right, it well. into the shoe. But I would be down with We're that. Figure this this thing out. That would be very fun. All right. Okay. I'd that's, be down with that. That's Let's all go. That, What's that, the budget? Well, uh, that, that brings me to uh, my piece of constructive criticism. What, what, what would be, let's say that there was a podcast and let's say that was the only podcast that mattered on Shut top up. to boot. And uh, we were, or excuse me, they were interested, <laughs> hypothetically, they were interested in Allegedly. a rebrand creative, creative directed by the one and only Sean Crawford. How, what would that, would that be expensive? Is that something that we, or excuse me, that they could work <laughs> out or? We could work it out. Yeah. Like, like imagine if our logo wasn't dog shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but like, you know, I just feel like, you know, there's, a, there's I think there's room. What a world. Shit. 20, 20, 2022, new year, new us, new, 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 pod. new alleged pot. Right. Just uh, maybe a little rebrand. I think okay. we can work that out. Okay. Yeah. Sean, thank you for coming on. To You're a podcast. fucking living Yo, legend, Sean. Where can the kids uh, follow yeah, you? you? Plug? What do you want to okay. plug? Yeah, go crazy, dog. All right. You can follow me, Sean Crawford. Sean underscore Crawford 119 on Instagram. Right. What's the 119? Uh, 911 backwards? I'm from 119th Street. Okay. There it is. Avenue. That is my block. Who's that Sean is. underscore Crawford? Oh, that's his I and I am him. No, but <laughs> is, who has that handle? Oh, you I mean? know your name, dog. I'm saying no, who has the other, there's a, there's like a football player named Sean Crawford. Yeah, and there I, is. So it's just like me. Too. I think he was okay. on the Raiders. And then the coldest Crawford, which is the oh, insulted. Of course, I know. <laughs> who, <laughs> I know your name, by the way. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Kid? You ever heard no. that? There's a fucking like young football player. His name is the coldest. Crawford. That's fire. It's so ill. The coldest. <laughs> you gotta you gotta change your legal. You gotta legally change your name to the hardest. Yeah, yeah. No, indeed. <laughs> yeah. The illest. <laughs> No one's colder than that, dude. So we got to go to, we got to pick a yeah, different adjective. He already got it. His dad knew. The illest Crawford. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, damn. The illest. No, you got to legally change your name to uh, the entirety of the intro. Then yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The intro list. Do you have any projects? Do you have any uh, workshops? Anything coming up that uh, this is out like mid December? Twitter? uh, Where else can we follow you at? Like, what else we got? I am on Twitter, but I don't really. But we need it for promotional purposes. What's funny is uh, I got on Twitter and Instagram around the same time and I had no traction on Twitter. And then on Instagram, people were actually following. So now you're just like. So I was just always on Instagram and not Twitter. We'll send some followers to the to the dead Twitter account. I don't even want that. I like it. Like I like it how it is. I have like 20 followers. Any any projects? I'm like talking to to friends, actually. Right, right, right. right. Like, so it works out. Any projects or collabs coming up? Yeah. What can we look for? Keep an eye out for? Uh, I don't even want to talk about anything that's not solid okay yeah you know i mean like, right. uh, like i'm working on paintings and tr- working on that's that, why you gotta follow that, right? that's why you gotta follow sean that's yeah. right follow me on instagram yeah. sean underscore crawford yes. and 119 my, my website is crawford wwg.com the wwg stands for Gee. worldwide global worldwide. <laughs> mr worldwide global, global mr worldwide yes, mr yes, yes. 119 yes and there you can find uh the doom dirty inks i still have those available let's get it you know what I mean? Hats are right been stuff, sold out. Yo, yeah. look, some stocking stuffers, dog. Yeah. You know, yes, get, pick up yes. some shit for the holidays. That's kids. always available. It's Sean. out there for you. If you love graffiti and you love tearing shit up, you can get busy with me. Let's oh, go. <laughs> thank you for coming on to yeah. the only Thank you for tearing it up matters. with the boys. Dude. We Chef. You, man. Of course. Thank you for having me. Chef. <laughs> get that motherfucking out.